Why am I still? Yeah, you exist. You're showing up now. Right. Yeah, you exist. So everyone. Uh oh, uh, my background is so messy. Yeah. I would I would advise people watch the the stream that I have just so we're all looking at the same thing at the same time. Works for me. All right. People are hyping this online. Oh yeah, well because the whole showcase already leaked, so we already know what's in it. Oh, I'm glad I have it not yeah. checked yeah. out the internet at Pretty all today. Has. I should have not. I should have not read through our leaks channel, but yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. Anyway, I I'm not gonna spoil anything. I w I would love to be surprised by something though. I think I think they could still hit me with one or two surprises, but mm -hmm. yeah, they've had some really bad leaks this year. But I know those leaks, man. No, you can't, you know. Oh, they're heron. I, I mean, I tend to avoid them whenever possible. But. Yeah. Some of it is unavoidable. Well, yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. It, I don't know. Hang on. Let me make sure this is the right audio. Aha. Chest. All right, there we go. Great. All right, so everyone, what are, what are hopes and dreams for this? the showcase <clears throat> i hope there's games okay that would be a good Big. start it could be huge yeah if phil spencer were able to like deliver a video game to me that would be really cool <laughs> um i uh, think uh, how many how many are how many of these things are we gonna see that are uh like port ports that just like didn't come out on xbox for no real reason They're like we got them now please enjoy <laughs> there's definitely gonna, gonna be a few yeah, I'm gonna bet five. Five, okay. Mm. That's a lot. How long is this? Two hours, and then the Starfield Direct is 40 minutes, so it's a two long time. Two hours? I thought the whole thing was two hours, so it's two hours and then that's Starfield. What I, that's what I heard, yeah. I don't know. The that's whole, long. The, if they have the a two-hour showcase, leaked. that's crazy. Yeah. The showcase's uh, time got leaked. I know that for a fact. Oh, okay. I'm pretty. I, I know that the Starfield Direct is 40 minutes, but I don't know 100% if that's counted into their two hours or not. Mm. But like, yeah, Phil's like, I got video games. You want video games? And it's like, it has are you sure? Is it grounded again? Yeah. <laughs> I would. Uh, I would certainly like to see another Gears game. I do enjoy those. I think I, I've been hearing, and this isn't a leak thing, I, I've been hearing that like they might be doing a Gears remaster trilogy or something like that, which yeah, I think that, okay. sounds, that sounds more likely than 6 to me at this point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eh, I don't I know. Mean, it could be interesting. Uh... I mean, they're fairly easy to play, though. And they don't look bad. Like, I mean, I, I kind of started mm -hmm. one, well... I played. I've dabbled in one for fairly yeah. recently, and it still looks good. Like it still looks. Did... But then you know, if, gonna, if they remake, la you know, they remaster the Last of Us re uh, remaster, then that didn't need it either. Yeah. So. Does Does anyone know if Gears is like was that owned by Epic Games originally, and then Xbox yeah. bought it? Yeah. 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 That's yeah. Exactly what happened. Okay, yeah. so they bought the IP from them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Form that coalition studio, isn't it? Right, yeah, yeah. It's a different studio doing it now, but... Because, yeah. like, yeah, Epic Games used to just be, like, a development studio. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah. Just to uh, just to dive in here real quick. It's supposed to be an hour 52, and I think that's with Starfield. That's with Starfield. Okay, so it's okay. two hours total. All right. Okay. Cool. That's more reasonable. I, if, yeah. they, if they had a full two-hour show and then Starfield, I would have thought maybe they had something, like, crazy. Yeah, that would have been, um, like, kind of insane. I don't know. It would have been a lot of duds, I imagine, if it was actually two That's, hours. There's no way you can yeah. hit hard for two hours. There's no way. Not in, no. Who Not, knows? Maybe maybe Xbox just grabbed everything they no. could. Actually, and also, no. Momo, this, again, not a leak, but I've joined you. I, I, am a, I am a Wolf 3 believer. Yes! I don't know why. Like, I woke up this morning and I was like, it's Hitler! <laughs> it's like, he's coming. Hit, okay. Interesting thing yeah, to he's wake coming. up and exclaim. Yeah, I was like ready to fight him though. I think my I think my favorite prediction is that uh, Miyazaki decided that he no longer likes Jeff because of what happened at Game Awards, and we're gonna see his games here today. <laughs> half half true because no, no Miyazaki was at Summer Games Fest. Yeah, I think That's they because it's because they probably don't have anything to show. They just released another trailer for and Armored we'll Core see. a month ago. We'll see. Okay, Ellie's here. 
Hold on, say hi. Leah. Kitty. Hey. The the pixel remasters aren't on Xbox, are they? They are not yet. No. Okay. That could be Don't something. Wanna, like, if they say, like, oh, it's coming to Xbox and it's going to be on Game Pass, like, that would be pretty... That would be good, yeah. I actually wonder, and I don't know if this is ever going to happen, but, like, a big get that people have been screaming about is Final Fantasy VII Remake. Like, if they could be like, hey, that they're actually doing it, please, <laughs> please. I don't think that's yeah. coming until the, the, the trilogy's over. Yeah, that would make a lot more I could believe sense. I could believe that, like, Sony had made arrangements as such, honestly. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. don't release this. We have... We have exclusivity of this game, dot, 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 regardless like, of when you finish it. Yeah, um, which is not amazing. I've seen a lot of people that are like, yeah, like, I am just, like, can't play any of the Final Fantasy games anymore, so I so, don't. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah, that makes, like, yeah. I feel it's like... It's kind of funny, mm -hmm. Sorry? considering that they, what, they had, like, what, 13 and 15 on Xbox, and that's it? Yeah, on launch, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah and then that was... From all PlayStation, and now, once again, PlayStation said, yeah, we're going to take you back, actually. Yeah, it's, like, I don't know, the... I I, th I feel like Final Fantasy 16 is not proving to be the system seller that I think they wanted it to be. <laughs> like, I feel like I've seen a lot of people online being like, oh, I'm just going to wait for it to come on PC, or, like, it'll come to Xbox eventually. Like, I, d I don't know if I've heard of anybody being like, oh, yeah, finally, this is a thing I'll get a PS5 for. Yeah, it's hard yeah. to it's hard to gauge the like I get yeah. Sony doing what they've done with Final Fantasy because it is a major franchise, but at the same time I don't know how big that franchise is when it comes to stuff like that, like what you're saying with like system sales. Yeah, I don't know. Like it it also it's honestly, I don't know. Is it is it like the people who w who are so into Final Fantasy that like they would get a PlayStation for it? Like don't they already probably have a PlayStation? Mhm. Mm and I don't really think they need system movers because they're constantly selling out of the that's damn true. things. That's so. true. No, they are. They are. Yeah, no, that's, that's true. true. I think I think um, more than a system seller this year, they just needed something in their pocket besides Spider-Man because they have fucking nothing. Mm. One, that one is kind of crazy, isn't it? They they don't really have much this year. One thing I was thinking that Xbox would be quite cool to get is if they can get Bayonetta three on there. Well, because that's because the, the other two are on there, from what I remember. Well, no, but... only the first one is. Oh, the, the, yeah. the first one. Yeah, the second, the second one is owned by Nintendo. Like, so it used to not be owned by Nintendo, and before two came out, Nintendo bought the rights to it, and they still own it. Right. So it, yeah, it'll yeah, never, be, no, it'll never, none, two, three, and even the the whatever like Bayonetta Origins, those will never be on any non Nintendo thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, those are oh, first well, party games. Okay. Because I'm just yeah, trying to think of something that was like, was like, was on Xbox, then One it's minute. no longer on Xbox, oh. and they could bring it back into it. Like that's what I was. What do we think about. opens the, the showcase? Wolfenstein Three? Or yeah, uh, baby, Silk it's Wolfenstein Three. Silk Song, baby. Wolfenstein Silk Three is having Song. a crossover yeah. with oh, Silk Song, yeah. and it's shadow Silk. dropping today. <laughs> Oh, you gotta get the Smash game of uh, Xbox characters. Oh yeah, what, did what, oh, did we didn't we name that um fucking yeah a Microsoft Fight Simulator? <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> That would be great. I would love that. Um, Actually, I take that back. I just want to correct my my guess in prediction and say that okay. it's going to be Banjo Three. It's going to be okay. ban or Banjo yes. Four. Excuse me. Excuse me, nuts and bolts. Banjo no, it's going to be called Banjo Three because it's like, oh, nuts and bolts. You guys didn't Banjo like that. Oh, we didn't like that either. It's Banjo Three. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Does it open with a game or with Phil? Huh? Does it open with a game or with Phil? Do we see? I think it opens with the, no. It's a game. Phil. It's a game. It opens with Phil. I think Phil. Okay. I think we're gonna see Phil. No, get, Phil's learned his lesson. I no, we're he see please. It'll be montage. It'll be gaming. montage then Phil. Yeah, montage. It's gonna be the random yeah. guy. Oh. Gaming. Oh, well, there we go. There we go. Oh no, Phil. Is it Forza? Gotta be Forza. Oh yeah. I, uh, hold on. Forza oh yeah, I guess opener. it is starting it's with just the this... game. Yeah. I told you. I told you Phil learned his lesson. Right, let me turn up the volume. It's 18 plus. Oh, we're finally doing oh, this. Oh, turn the volume. Because I was going to make a sandwich. I think it is Fable. Mm -hmm. Yeah! It yeah! Is. <laughs> oh, wow. This is going right for it. That's awesome. Oh, I'm, I'm really good at this. Let's uh, do it. Wait. Oh, wait. Is that the... Wait, no, that's not no. Fable. That's... Uh, what's his face? Ri that's Richard Arduardi. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I oh, know this is Fable. This is Fable. He's in it. They got Richard A. Wow. I, yeah. Okay. Oh, I love Richard Ayoade. Now he's a good yeah, fit for this kind of game. <laughs> he's perfect for this. 
roughing up bandits because they like to rough up bandits, don't they? Living it up with the common folk every single night. On a day-to-day -day basis, I'll say the true hero is me, someone who's breaking new ground with fruit, with veg, on the agricultural side of things. <laughs> Not wafting around mythical creatures. And that's what they are. Wafters. Yeah, well done. You see, I'm not here <laughs> to slay. This is like very British. <laughs> I'm here to conquer the vegetable. Hey, so welcome, yeah. Gift Seal. Uh, we have a viewer. Uh, we're having a good day so far. Heroes is over. This is the age of innovation. This, if you will, is the age of death. One moment. Is so, they filming this like the office? <laughs> He definitely came across like that. Whoa, yeah. this is awkward. Yeah. What the hell? Oh, it's tiny people. No, are you, I are think, you the tiny I think, person? I think that's the big person. Yeah. Oh. I think you are the little person. Yeah. No, I, I know, so. but I, yeah, I th we're the little person, but I think that's because he's, I think he's just... Oh, he's a giant. Yeah, we're not like a, a tiny giant. person. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which day is that? <laughs> what day is Any day. That? What day is day <laughs> one? I, mean, I don't think that game is anywhere close. No, oh. that's that's certainly not this year yeah. now. Yeah. Well, well at least they had some. Pass. They had some stuff that looked like bits of gameplay, so... It the early Spider-Man trailer. Where it had like those. Hey, compulsion! Running. Oh, yay! Oh. Their game, yay! Oh, wow. I've been, I've been waiting for this. I love the. In the bayou now. Shaking bones. <laughs> Been a while. Shaking bones, so, Tom Jones. You remember that Could be. You owe me? Once again, little, 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 big, just a uh, little, yeah. Yeah. I'm looking for a creature. I think it's a big guy, though. I agree. That's because Xbox is the little guy, you know. Yeah, I was just about to say that. <laughs> Xbox is the little guy in gaming right now. That's it. No? Well, hey, how about you guys? No? What kind of game is this, though? Like. <laughs> Not helpful. I'm gonna guess action adventure. Yeah, probably. It might be, yeah. Free to play mobile. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's I what the gamers are like clamoring for. We Happy Few, where it's a card like... game. I think they learned their lesson from We Happy yeah. Few. <laughs> yeah, I think they did as well. Ooh. South of Midnight. South of Midnight. Good name. If if that is an action adventure game, that is a Xbox ass Xbox game for sure. Yeah. Uh, no date. Like no date. Good. Now do we see? Day one though. On day one, Xbox. Okay, no <sighs> the... Nope. One more. I, yeah, one we're more. never gonna see Phil. He's not in this one. I'm telling you. Wow. Okay, maybe. He'll make a cameo in a game. Times. He'll be in one of You'd the games. Be soft. At least that's what I hear. Star Wars. Star yeah. Wars. Oh yeah. This is that's their Star, Star Wars, Wars game. Yeah. That's, that's Star what? Wars for sure. Yeah. I remember they were making that open world Star Wars game. Yeah. We'll hear about more of it tomorrow, I'm sure. Yeah, that's probably true. Yeah. Belongs to the syndicates. If I want to survive, I have to play their game. You're a little guy like again. A bounty hunter. 
Let me play as this guy. <laughs> Alright. Imagine Stray Star Wars Edition. Ooh! <laughs> oh man. Stray Wars! Does this count as a Ubisoft CGI trailer? Um. Ooh, that's a good question. If there's no gameplay, yeah. I wonder if this is a CGI story trailer and they're gonna do a gameplay trailer tomorrow or something. It would be really funny if they didn't have any gameplay. I'd love that. <clears throat> okay. I've been held back my whole life. Classic Star Wars fashion, you have a little friend. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's an odd droid, you know. Otherwise known as the toy, toy sale. Yeah. Yep. It's not a, it's not, yeah, I mean, this like, what- This is the division team, right? I'm here to offer you a way. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I think so. Get off I'm excited shit, to Galen. have to collect 20 droid chance. parts in this game. You're gonna have to trust so it's probably gonna be multiplayer, right? Risk I thought they said it was single player. Off, really? You'll never look over your shoulder again. For one sort of love for, like, a not rag to riches story in Star Wars. Like, more like, it just opens. Oh, just like a rich like, guy. I'm, I'm, I'm really rich. <laughs> <laughs> you, you play as a hot. Oh. You know? That'd be cool. Yeah. But it's a big galaxy out I don't need a job, so I'm gonna become a Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do Jedis get paid very much? <laughs> it's like Maybe a religion, the... so I guess... They get it's basically like on. being like a I warrior, man. Okay. 2024. Okay. Uh, from Re33, how many Star Wars games let you play as a non-human? Um, none. The, <laughs> oh, well, the, the old said... How ma wait, um... Can you play as Jar Jar in Battlefront? Can you play Can you play as Jar Jar in Battlefront? And then there's a code yeah, the 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 tool you can switch to a different character. Gaming is the most powerful of oh, gaming. She said gaming. It transports, it challenges, it MMO, the MMO. Us, and it's just incredibly and awesomely fun. Yeah, that is why Team that. Xbox is committed You can also to go to the, the dark side in Jedi Academy, which is always fun and concerning. And by unleashing the I have a strong feeling that... Community. Sorry? Enabling all of us to play you can play as Sebulba in Star Wars Pod Racing. Okay, there we go. From mobile devices to PCs to oh, Lego Star Wars. The lineup. We have yeah. How many Star Wars movies have a protagonist that is not human? Incredible. I'll save you some time. It's none of them. None of them, yeah. The Rose Fallout started world. straight away with a ghoul protagonist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. For you, the largest, most engaged, and globally diverse fan base in Xbox history. You are the heart and soul of Xbox. I am? Your oh. Passion drives well. us. I was going to say, I also like that the Fallout TV show is going to have a ghoul as a protagonist. Today. From me oh wow! And yeah. And yeah. all of the team at Xbox, thank what you. This next I mean, I don't own an Xbox Lotus, lady, but okay, thank you. Yeah, I have a PC though. <laughs> gone back to their combat roots with an amazing who is Thunder Lotus, Lotus again? I don't know. They've seen their name before for sure. I don't remember who they are. All right, everybody, it's time. For what? <laughs> they made. The oh, they, yeah, they made Spirit Fair. Ah. Uh, Spirit Fair. No yeah. way. Yeah. Oh, so okay, so it's probably going to be pretty. This. I mean, Ooh. it is pretty. I'm going to be so sad when I play this game. <laughs> I'm just assuming. Technically, I guess there is a game where you play a C-3PO and R2, but we desperately need Star Wars games where you aren't human. Anyway, what did y'all think about Fable? I missed the beginning. Uh, I think it looks funny. I haven't s We barely saw no. any gameplay, but yeah, like... Yeah, it's funny, though. I think there were uh, clips. Richard, whatever his name Richard is. Richard Adioya, yeah. Oh, it should be good. Yeah, no, be good. I like the style. I like the style of it a lot, um, and the uh, humor. So I'm sure it'll be good. Oh, I'm like, they're trying to do. Sorry. Continue. I was gonna say I hope Richard's an actual character. I, I think they. I th I think they would be Maybe. if they featured him that prominently. Yeah, like, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. I love Richard Adioya. Yeah. 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 33 player co-op. This is what we've been asking for. Me and my 32 friends have been asking for this. I don't know 33 people. I like that they still have to make it three, though. They have to include three Yeah. co-op. It's just three. So this is like not a battle royale, because you're all working together. Yeah, you're all working together. 
I I'm I hoping. I was not expecting this from this. Watch uh, the. No, it'll take you know, like a battle royale. Yeah, it's I was like the, the world is closing in on you. Yeah, watch this game not have matchmaking. Like you just have to find 32 friends. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> The real challenge is the friends you tried to 33 make 33 Immortals. That's a cool okay. name. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sounds like the 300 Spartans, kind of. All right. It's payday, payday 3, oh, baby. Hey. Just in and out. Nothing to it. This got leaked. This is the third one, right? This, yeah, this did get yeah. leaked. The date at least got leaked. It doesn't look that new, but it all it I mean it looks all right visually. It looks, definitely looks a little newer Everybody than the, the second the one. I've never played Payday honestly. It's a lot of fun. It is good fun. Yeah, I've heard good things. Yeah. Isn't it one of those things where there's like millions of dollars of microtransactions? Um, it's there's a lot of content. Like, there's there's a lot of content. There's also lots of like, my, there's lots of like cosmetics. But you don't need to like buy. It. Right, you don't right. Need to buy a lot of it. There's just a lot of maps you can buy. Oh, uh, okay. Like lots of like, there's like a John Wick expansion and a Hotline Miami expansion and all that shit. The guns and stuff look better than what I've seen from Payday 2 for sure. This looks a lot more, yeah, like... This, this looks, looks almost kind of like, um, Rainbow Sixy, <laughs> like... Yeah, I was just about to yeah. say. Yeah, yeah. They definitely, they definitely upped the gunplay here. Yeah, not a bad thing. And, and unlike Sony, they actually gave us gameplay of their heist game. Whoa, what? Crazy. I forgot Sony had that heist game. It was like, what's it called? Cash Money with the dollar sign or something? It's like Payday. <laughs> no, not Payday. Uh, it's called... Cash Afternoon. It's called Cash App. Cash App? <laughs> cash Night. It's called... I don't even know. I didn't have that right in print. I, I, I also totally forgot. Day pay. Was that also day one Game Pass today? I don't Ooh. think so. Like Atlas. What could this go. be? Here's, a, here's all the Persona stuff. Is this that Persona 6? Yeah, it is Persona 6. Oh. Maybe no. No, it's three. It's three. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah, Maybe I've already seen this trailer. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Wow. This is great. Oh, it looks so great. Cool. It looks like a huge improvement. Oh yeah. The wow, dollar thing looks like going to be weird. You know. This looks really good. I'm getting nostalgic right now. I know, right? I never finished this game. I played like probably I two thirds of it. Never finished it. It's I really good though. Like, I, do, it. I actually finished it this year. Oh, because it went on, on to Game Pass. Ooh. But man, I will play this again. Hundred percent. Damn. That looks really good. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm and now. And it's coming. It's. Uh, it, it is coming to everything, by the way, on day one. Yeah. It, uh, fair games, by the way. That's what. Fair games. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 Game Is this? Mm -hmm. a, is this? Oh, they're not gonna do what the tactics this? one? This is... Man, skull and Bones! Creed? No, it's... Oh, this is Skull and Bones! It's not oh, Xbox oh, Game no. Studios, really? though. Oh, you're right, sorry. Oh. This is Creed Assassin. Obsidian! Oh, is this Avowed? Oh, this is Avowed! Oh, yeah! Yeah. Do they? yeah, okay. It's back! It's alive! Uh, is this gonna get a date, we think? I think so. Even not... like, uh, even a ballpark? I think it'll ballpark date, yeah. I think this one is ready. It's Skyrim with guns! I'm all down for that Skyrim with guns. That <laughs> seems to be corrupt. That bear has a problem. Didn't, wasn't this co-op as well? Or am I not... I don't think that? so. No? I mean, I'm not, I mean, I'm not running I don't know. into a cave. I just saw three people running into a cave, so maybe. Uh, it could be, I don't know though. Oh, dude, got some Doctor Strange portals going on. The way you fight. The power you wield. This is this is really just the secrets you keep. This, yeah, like Skyrim. Yeah, yeah. Crazy magic. 
I mean, yeah, this is like what Skyrim would look like if they made it now. <laughs> I mean, I like Skyrim. I like Skyrim. I love Skyrim. <laughs> That's good. That's a compliment. So, yeah. like, <laughs> I'm excited about this. Skyrim game made by Obsidian is great. Yeah, exactly. Hundred percent. Hundred percent in. What are you gonna do with it? Huh? Ah. Ooh, let's get hype music. Come on. I know you have a date. a date. You have a date in you this somewhere. Feels, this feels like 2025. No! Oh, wow. 2024. Big date. Well, well, we're, either not, date. we're either not getting a date or it just says 2024. Yeah. yeah. Anything, yeah I don't think Nothing's had like a firm date. date yet, no. Another Xbox game. I don't think they're going to have anything what else, else this year have? besides Starfield. Oh, Did it's going to be this last year. Oh, Everwild. This is Everwild. So. Wait, what? Rare and Lucasfilm. Lucas. Uh, oh, is this Thieves, Star Wars but... Sea of Thieves? Star Wars Sea of Thieves moment. Wow. Wait, no, it's Indiana Jones. That's my guess. It's no Indiana way. Jones. <laughs> is it? Uh, oh, wow. Monkey Island. Okay. I forgot. Yeah, Lucasfilm. Yeah, that that was originally a Lucas Arts Games thing. I'm still like, I'm not gonna come back and play this, but that's cool. Yeah, that's neat. That is cool. So tell me, which ship is right for you? A big Man. ship? A luxury ship? A ship with just a splash of je ne sais quoi? The legend of Monkey Island. I have a friend who fucking loves this game. Like, she plays it every night. I'm not they're, that into it, but... Yeah, they're... Hey, what do you think you're yeah. doing? I told I you not I, I enjoy it until you get sunk by another player. And then it's just like, well, this yeah. is yeah. out all the fun yeah, out of this. Like, if it ever did, I know it's defeat the point. Them. I think you're supposed I mean, to... actually have, like, a private the thing, legend. I would... I would, right. I would say Island. a lot. I've heard it's much better if you have, like, a regular crew. Like, people, like, log on every night and you're like, let's fucking go. Yeah. I'm excited for all the people who are complaining about the art style of the latest Monkey Island game to be like, See? They could have done something cooler. Why would this be better? <laughs> I, I don't know. I like the Monkey Island art style. It looks yeah, neat. It's great. It, I wouldn't say it's great, but I enjoyed it. Yeah, I like it. from the sea of thieves you know. Where's the monkey? <laughs> on the island. Uh, yeah, on the island. I think you have to play free. rock, paper, scissors with them at one point. I do like that hey, all the expansion. Hey, nice. I do like that all the expansions for Sea of Thieves are free. That is nice. Mm -hmm. They're all very interesting, too. Like, yeah. Just, yeah. Despite my non interest in the game. Yeah, right. I wish yeah, I liked the game. game. I would have well. a lot of stuff to play. <laughs> <laughs> what is this one going to be? Uh, oh. I said a Sobe, and I was like, oh, yeah. wait, what? Microsoft yeah. Fight Simulator. Uh, okay. Oh, wow. okay. Microsoft, Actually? when are you buying a Sobo? That's all I need. Yeah, well, I think they can't until the Blizzard thing is done. Yeah. So is they they should have done that first. Is this like a rescue thing? Oh, this yeah, it feels looks like, like an it. expansion for sure. Yeah, no, I think it's. Would I think it's a world premiere if it was an expansion. Yeah, I, I think, think so. Would they? Yeah, it's a like world premiere. Okay. Yeah, it's a world premiere of the trailer sort of thing, or the, okay. the product bit. Yeah. How Microsoft determines like world premiere versus other things is I, I don't understand. I'll be okay. honest, but that yeah. makes sense. It's like we're the first to show this. Or... Yeah, clear, this I looks, think you're right. This looks like I I don't remember Flight Sim ever a being able to do any of this stuff. No, this yeah, all look. No, this is all very new. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. I'll just, uh, you know, get a three thousand sure? dollar computer this so I can looks, play this. This looks like a new game. But it's like, like the, it, this is yeah. But these, but these are all like tasks, right? To like rescue yeah. people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, right. None playing, of these. None like of these the things were in the original game. When I game. played the original game, it didn't feel like there was quite this focus on people. It just felt like I was in a plane. No, there weren't it. any people. No. Yeah. Like no. this is so much more like. This feels like a different game. Mm. I guess we'll see. I don't know. It's like. No, you can do things expansion. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. you can do things yeah. in this game. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Scientific research. Finally. Low altitude training. To Dude, Top Gun. 
This is a oh, this they is a had crazy top expansion. Gun. Did top they do a Top Gun expansion? expansion? They did do a Top Gun expansion. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's a new game. That's a yep. new game. Yeah, I think it is a new game. Okay. They're That's just calling game. it Flight yeah. Sim 2024. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, That's cool. Yeah, neat. Uh, now what, what do we got? Dune? 100 poly, you know, 100 dune. big purchases. Yeah, dude, it's Dune. Let the spice yeah. flow, baby. No. Uh oh, never mind. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I thought it was, thought <laughs> it was gonna be ReCore 2. I was so hyped. Wait, what is this, though? Not, this is it's not It's just a Re flight simulator thing. thing. No, no, I yeah, think it is. Isn't it, is it, it actually is dune? dune? Yeah, it's, it's Dune. dune. It's, it's like a Dune expansion for the, yeah, for Flight Sim. Yeah, yeah, okay. I was about to say, like the Dragonfly copter thing. Is it coming to fly? Light sim? Is that kind yeah, of Yeah, I think that's. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. I mean, it's a great idea. Yeah, yeah. A good idea. It's cool. Pretty iconic I just, kind of. I saw air I saw the desert and I was like, a real Dune game? They, there not there supposedly a real Dune game being made? Yeah. Yeah, there, there is. Is that what? 4DX? Is there the Spice Wars or whatever? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's well, also there, another. There, no, there's like another one that's like more of like an like action adventure thing that's in yeah. like very that's early true. development. Hi, here. Oh Speaking boy! Hey. Hey. This is coming this year, baby. We We're ready. Our shoots for early next year. Hellblade 2. When we first showed gameplay for Hellblade 2, it was a look at some of the game's cinematic and immersive action, where Senua faced off against a gigantic troll on the Icelandic coastline. Didn't it think she just finished shooting? Yeah, that's what she just said, I think. Today, we're taking you deeper into Senua's story, her personal quest, her unique perspective on the world, and the intimate journey that awaits you in Senua's saga. What you'll see today is all captured by the team on Xbox Series X. Finished shooting what? Like the motion capture, I guess? I guess so, yeah. Maybe recording lines and all that, like all of that stuff. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, the, last, the first one took years to record. <laughs> Uh, okay. She can feel that. They do that over the lifespan of the game, though. It's not like they do that before or after. Yeah, I mean, they can, they can animate it beforehand as well. So. Right, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. She's here to find them. Oh, all the hushed whisper audio is so good. It is, yeah. Oh, yeah. It makes me very nervous. With a promise. Mm hmm. A question. Is this on PC as well as Xbox? Yeah, yeah, everything is. Cool. Every every game that they've made since 2015 has been on PC day one. They are gonna do that forever. I'm new to this. This is the first year I've got a PC that can actually run stuff. Oh, hell yeah! Ninja Theory is like, I think the first game we've seen today that looks next gen. Mm -hmm. We haven't seen much they gameplay doing... today, to be fair. That's fair. I feel <laughs> yeah. I feel like what they want to do is what people in expect Microsoft to put out. Like, it's yeah. Yeah. like the PlayStation yeah. level of, like, this, this is, is technically this impressive is... and fun. Right. What I, to play. I, yeah, I've been saying, like, in one way or another, like, I feel like Microsoft, and I think they can deliver it like this. They want this to be, like, their God of War, basically. Mm -hmm. I mean, it looks really good. Yeah. I think that studio can can for sure deliver that. Yeah, yeah. Are you waiting for? I'm here. Give her a gun. <laughs> Shoot the voices. Yeah, I think. Put Senua in Pal World. I think for the first one, they filmed all her facial expressions like yeah, separately to the actual motion capture. Because I've, right. I've seen like videos of just her and like her doing like stuff. Wasn't she supposed to be just like a fill-in at first, and they just were like so impressed she, with her? Yeah, I think she maybe. worked for. I think she was like on the different oh, part of the team, and they. Yeah. Oh, they were like using her as a stand-in until they found yeah. an actor. Oh, I see. I think, yeah. yeah, I think it's something like that. Yeah. What you will find here. What we will find. What if it's all for nothing? What is that? They are waiting. I like how weird this game's trailer has been so far. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're so weird. It's so weird. Wasn't expecting that. The first game was weird. 
Yeah. This is one of those games where, like, I'm sure someone came into the office, like, a few weeks ago and was like, Hey, can you give her a send? Can you just put that in the game? That looks great. Looks yeah. cool. That looks amazing. That, yeah, very different to the first trailer. Yeah, I wish they had shown more like gameplay because they showed a, like a good bit of gameplay last time. Like, yeah, well, what we imagined was gameplay. What is this? Yeah. Oh. oh my god, yes. they have it! Oh, Everyone, shut it. up! Just very excited. Are we seeing more of this tomorrow? Uh, maybe. Yes. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's butt. That's a booty. Nice. Doko da koko. Some big Metal Gear Solid vibes here. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh. Is he not in Japan? No. Is this the same game we saw at, at Sony? Huh? What do you mean? No, no, no. no this, this is, is like, like a Dragon, Dragon 8. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. I know nothing about this series. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, the... Yeah, the... That is Momo's reaction, is what... Oh. <laughs> well. Is it called, <laughs> like, a Dragon Infinite Well? So there's hey, 2024. Series. Oh, this is not 8? No, it oh, is. I think it, 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 it is, is but they're, they're, they're... Yeah, they're giving it a different name. Oh, Bethesda Presents. Yeah, it's not being I'll called, be like, eight. a Dragon uh, 8. This has It'll to be, be Wolfenstein. Yay! Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, it's Fallout. Oh, Oh, it's a new Fallout oh. 76 thing. Oh. I thought it was a new Fallout then. No, no, they're, they're not even started on that yet. Uh. It's a new Fallout. But yeah, like a Dragon, not in Japan, is going to be an interesting. If it's not in Japan. Actually, not in Japan. Wait, what is this if it's not new Fallout? It's, it's probably a new 76 thing. Yeah. yeah. They, add, they add a free expansion to it every year, yeah. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Your time with friends, you'll find a home in Appalachia where the good times never end. There are relics to uncover from a time before the war, along with Aww, a little teddy bear. Oh, you can bowl? Yeah. Our world is, always is this good? Is it it's a great it game. Yeah, it's a really good yeah. game. Every, I think everyone who has played it in the last two years has been like, yes, please, it's good. Okay. It's, re it's really good, yeah. I will say that this is one of those games you can you, you can only get so far playing by yourself. Like it is very much designed to be played in a squad. And this is like that by the question is like if I was gonna play this by myself, like how much could I realistically play? You you could do a, the whole you could do the whole campaign. If you wanna do any of the higher level like raids and dungeons and everything, you have to be in a squad. Right. I assume there's no matchmaking or anything else like that in there. Um you can no, you can squad up with uh random people. Oh, okay. Yeah, for sure. Interesting. 
It's got like a really nice Where's player base as well. Xbox like he literally, game. he'll walk now. around and he, people will just give you stuff. Oh yeah, Atlantic City. Oh okay, nice. okay. Yeah, yeah. Seventy no, six, you can play now. Atlantic City. Yeah, yeah. It's it's really fun. Like, I I enjoyed it. The base building is way better, which makes me think the Starfield one will work very well. What is this? What do we got here? Did they say this was Xbox Game Studios? No, this is just a world premiere. Okay. What is this? What, what is, is this? Is what this is Dragon's this? Dogma? What is this? No, this is what not is Dragon's this? Dogma. Devil is this Devil May Cry? Cry? I'm freaking out. No, it's not Devil May Cry. It's not Devil May Cry. It's very like Ghostwire. Yeah, I was about to say, it looks like Ghostwire. Oh, Onimusha? Maybe? I don't know. This Nani Mushi's never done something. Yo, it's, a, it's, Oka it's like Okami 2, baby. Stuff. I mean, uh, it could be just completely new. Cause yeah, I it yeah, could just I be mean, a new thing. This... This is probably its own thing. I am freaking out. What? This looks cool. cool. This looks oh, amazing. Wait. What? But... Yeah, I have no idea what's happening. This is a Capcom. This, this Capcom is. Game. Yeah. This is either a new thing or some revival of some franchise that this has been is, dead for 20 years that we all forgot about. This looks awesome. Never, yeah, never yeah. put, yeah. Never oh, yeah, put in the, um, the Discord chat Cap Capcom never stops cooking. <laughs> Honestly, not a joke. This yeah. looks great. Wow, this looks really good, yeah. Whoa, the little yeah. flash flourish is Whoa. Oh, I like how you have summons. Yeah. Definitely liking the vibes. Very cool. Path of the Path Goddess. Path of the Goddess. Okay. okay, I think it's just a new thing, yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. But Game Pass? Good. No date though. No, yeah, no date. I think yes, yeah, day one game pass. Yep. That right. looks awesome. Looks very that cool. Does look really cool. Good pull. I'm assuming that'll wow. also be on PlayStation 2, but yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Wolfenstein. No. Forza. Forza. Oh yeah, Forza Motorsport. Yeah. Well, you know, I forgot. They actually that th that is ready for this year, so they'll slap a date on this for for this now. The day got leaked already, I believe. Oh, did it? Okay, I think it's October. That sounds okay. And hybrid power. The legendary Corvette has been a celebrated champion for decades. The all-new Chevrolet Corvette E-Ray continues that tradition. General Motors is proud to usher in a new era of competition. I will say, uh, so far into this, about half hour, I am very, I mean, I'm glad and very surprised at how Forza trailer Sport heavy this General is so far. Motors are pairing yeah. Their strengths and yep. technical yeah, my wild one is minutes my wild one is my wild What is your wild one, Sonny? That Phil Spencer would say family more than Dobbin, the fast food. Yeah, that, I don't think that's gonna happen. That's not gonna happen, no. Corvette E-Ray. To the home. I think Phil can't. Sh I think Phil can't bear to show his face on stage after Redfall is what happened. Phil's gonna show up disheveled and drunk on stage <laughs> and just start like saying. <laughs> you wanted a vampire? You got one. Yeah, they're panicking. Like he was actually supposed to be in the intro. You got this. He's gonna show up tonight at Giant Bomb and it's going. To All right, be what's the? <laughs> What's the over under that uh, Todd Howard is wearing a leather jacket today? Let's tweak the oh, yeah, that's, it's guaranteed. Can you guaranteed. go above 100% on this? For a purple, I think he's wearing leather same, trousers. That same one, that brown, that brown leather jacket. You know? Yeah, yeah, it's the same one. I think he's just fully leather. Just leather trousers, leather jacket. Oh, yeah. He's just okay. wearing, like, an entire leather outfit. Drive the car good. Yeah. <laughs> How is this when? different from Forza Horizon? Like the motorsport series? Horizon's open world. Uh, this is just like you pick your races that you right. want to Right, it's like more like level based. Okay. Mm -hmm. the, the cars are better. 
Yeah, this October is 10th. A, this yeah. is a sim. This October is like 10th. a proper driving sim. Ah, uh, I see. Like, mm -hmm. Horizon is like arcadey. Right. Okay, that makes a sense. A bit more, yeah. Yeah. I, I played Forza Horizon 5 for like eight or nine hours, and I had a pretty good time. Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein, baby. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, yeah, this is classic Wolfenstein. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They yeah, do BJ this a little bit. Oh, is Elder Scrolls online? It's probably ESO, yeah. 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 It's like Necrom's a new one, right? Yeah, Necrom. I, I would love to play Elder Scrolls Online, but I, I just feel like there's so it many is, expansions now. Yeah, like it is it is gigantic. Up. Like, I've <laughs> I've probably put like 25 hours into it or something like that, and like I haven't even finished the first world yet. Oh my god! Like they, they've improved this so much since. Oh yeah, no, it's a, it's it, got it, it is a legitimate mm -hmm. like really good MMO, but I just. Yeah. It's it's kind of like seeing thieves Sea of Thieves in a way where yeah yeah everything I heard about it about Elder Scrolls Online when it first came out was like ooh um, right. I don't know yeah there is a lot of great stuff in there huh is this the guy that kept on stealing our souls in um, Skyrim no I don't think so um, uh, what was his name Morkarth or something like that more Jack or something like that more, yeah more more Jack <laughs> is that the guy with the mask. Yeah. Yeah, the guy who shows up and steals dragon souls. And the cult, the cult says who keep on attacking you even though you haven't started the DLC yet. You're like, fuck off, I'm trying to, I'm trying to finish yeah. the main game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're like halfway through the main game. It's like, you know, there's DLC where you get to fight me. <laughs> and it's like, what? Go away. I haven't killed Alduin yet. That'd be an interesting way to sell DLC. To just sprinkle it into the game going, wouldn't it be cool to fight more of us? There is so much fucking lore in this game. Oh, like that's it a is, week away. yeah, it is. Oh in, yeah, we already had that date. It is like oh, it is okay. incomprehensible how much lore is in this. What? Toronto is under attack. That's a new Overwatch map or, or character, probably. Probably their new character. Not Toronto. The Toronto map is probably the best in the in the new game. I they're would say. They're re-announcing PVE. They <laughs> Oh yeah, this is probably their like story mode alternative thing. Did they did all the characters from one are in two? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so Wait, so this is just... actually a new PvE thing? Yeah, I think this is whatever they ended up coming up with. Replacing it with. Yeah. Right, so I see. So the original PvE mode was cancelled, yeah. but APVE mode's not cancelled. Right, yeah. They, they said they were still doing that, yeah. Right. I just didn't think it would be so soon, but I think what happened is they cancelled the old one like a long time ago and didn't tell anybody. Right. Well, this is just what they salvaged from that. Right, right. yeah, yeah. Much this like... looks... Flashpoint game mode. Okay, that's new. I don't know what that means. Me neither. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, this is like Titanfall. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're our doing call, Titanfall. Call of Duty as well. Yeah, it does look hard. Marie says they wasted oh, so man. many years and then we got nothing for it. They let the game stagnate as Overwatch 1 with pretty much no content for a long time. Yeah, that is what yeah. happened. It's, it's unfortunate. Uh, I, it really sucks. I really wish they just kept adding to Overwatch, but whatever. It does sound like this didn't need to happen. No. No. So story missions are Yeah, they still they still have story missions, but like basically the thing they showed at their Overwatch Direct like years ago with Jeff Kaplan, like they completely scrapped that entire thing. New hero? Yeah, new hero. Let's go. No, I know who Kiriko is. Life Weaver's not new, Ramatra. Oh yeah. It's gonna show them all and then it's right. the new right? one. Junker right? Queen, yeah, here's the newest. Those are the four new ones, five new ones. Oh, I guess not. No, what where's the new one? Whatever. Unlock with Game Pass. You get all the heroes for free with Game Pass. Now. Oh my god. Oh, that helps wow. me. Wow. That helps That's me awesome. a lot. That's dope. P6! Oh. Yeah, no, this is Persona 5 oh, Tactics. This is the Tactics, yeah. What am I looking what at? Is it's this Persona 5 game. Tactics, baby. No way. Well, like, what, like, Fire Emblem? 
Oh, yeah? What about your tactics? So you're telling me you're what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, this got leaked as well. Yeah, the, I watched this whole trailer already. <laughs> what? Man, if you want me to play anything Persona 5 related, I will play it. Yeah, I will play this. No no doubt. Uh, if I play Moose, so I'm going to play this. <laughs> I'm... Actually, no, they didn't. Tactica, yeah, Tactica. November. Yep. Tactica. Yeah. That's like someone tried to spell wow. tactics but pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Atlas is gonna Atlas. Yeah, I think I think it'll be fun. Wolfenstein three. Wolfenstein three, baby, it's here. It's gotta be one of these, right? It's gotta be one of them. Nope, Starfield. Uh, I guess. Are they doing a Starfield trailer here too? Before, I guess before the. Time. I guess, direct. yeah. Might as well, right? I guess. I guess. And also, like, tell people there's a direct in case they didn't know, I guess. Yeah. Catch more in the direct. Not that the field of stars is so oh, she said field of stars. <laughs> wow. Close. <laughs> so close. Well, this is a real star field. The music for this that has come out so far is all so fucking good. Yeah. They, they always, like, nail this. Who's doing the school this time? It's Enon Zur, who did, uh... Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 soundtracks. Oh, great. Yeah. They were going to actually use Jeremy Soule, but he had a... Uh, turns out he <laughs> sexually assaulted a lot of women, so nope. Never Oops. again. We're Oops. We're committed to the biggest question of all. I think I would prefer the what? Fallout composer anyway. Fall so Fallout 3 game. Fallout 3 is like maybe a top 10 soundtrack of all time for me. Yeah, yeah. So I good. love the Fallout so 4 sound soundtrack. Yeah, no, it's awesome too. 100%. Ooh, dinosaurs. You're part of Constellation now. Part of our family. Maybe it's just me, uh, but I feel like the last time they showed Starfield off, it seemed like it kind of underwhelmed uh, with some people, with just like yeah. expectations. So I'm kind of hoping that this. Yeah, I think that I think they probably took the, the notes on. Yeah. Personally, for me, it was the thousands of like planets being kind of like threw me off of it. Yeah. It just gave me uh, so no man's. No Man's Sky was it was yeah. Yeah. No Man's yeah. Sky. So one thing they didn't one thing they didn't explain, which they Todd Howard talked about afterwards, is that every one all the planets that are involved in the campaign were all handcrafted by their artists. And everything else is procedurally generated. So like they're like, No, we, we have like a gigantic area that we've handcrafted like on top of it. It's not like we just procedurally generated the whole world. But I think they should have said that in the trailer. <laughs> Yeah. Something. I'm also hoping that the loading screens are like, like, cause with Outer Worlds, I loved it, but it was like hopping from planet to planet, like for every mission was really annoying. Mm. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, we've got to get some beans for this next quest. You got to go to that planet and then come back again. This would have liked a little bit more gameplay, but I guess we'll get that later. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get. I saw like a very really small glimpse of that, but yeah. Because yeah, I think, I that's, think... that's gonna push me over there fence on this, I think, to just see how it mm -hmm. actually plays out. Especially because, mm -hmm. like, at least from my perspective, when I think of Bethesda shooters, I don't think of good gameplay at all. Mm -hmm. um, so I, fall I, I don't know, Fallout 4 and 76 both have pretty good guns, I mean. Uh, yeah, I yeah. I, I Like, I the gunplay is pretty good, yeah. Though like, once I picked up the explosive shotgun, it was all over, Ooh, I never picked yeah. up another gun again. Come on. <laughs> Momo, is this uh, Wolfenstein? It looks like well, it, yeah. I didn't say Bethesda, so I don't think that's possible. <laughs> Is this Skull and Bones? <laughs> that would be so funny. I actually don't know what this is. I can't wait for Skull and Bones to be re-revealed, and they open it with, like, just a person walking. And, like, we introduced walking now. You can walk. Is this, like, Getting over two? Is this a new thing, I guess? Look, another game yeah. where you have a little guy. Oh, is this rare, by chance? Oh, this no, could be... They would have... Do you think this could be Everwild? No, I don't this, think I so. I mean, art-wise, this feels like a rare game. Yeah, I, I can see that. 
I don't think it's quite at rare. Oh, got some level. fucking link level climbing here. I could be wrong though. I don't know who else would be doing this. It didn't say uh, Xbox Game Studios. Oh, it didn't. Okay. No. Oh, uh, okay. Never mind. How did that little thing not fall out? Of he was in a little basket. He was like, I mean, he was practically yeah. upside down to get over. Oh, so the this is this is Banjo Kazooie then? Yes. <laughs> is it a backpack? I I I actually I am. This is studio will know. Like I don't know. Like don't. Oh nod, maybe. wow! Like don't nod maybe. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Like don't don't nod. Making a climbing game just sounds right. I believe I this. Why. I don't know why. Yeah. Like, yeah. This, this makes sense. This is cool. And I like that you have a little guy. Yeah. Who can show open up a path? <laughs> Although I I can already tell you if if. If this little guy were to die in the story, I would destroy the game and destroy Don't Nod's <laughs> headquarters. By the last guardian, this that looks destroyed fine. Yeah. I don't mind just climbing. Yeah, you know what? Sometimes you just want to vibe. Yeah, yeah. This just, this looks wowzers or chakra. Yeah. I like. I have my issues with Don't Nod's vampire game, but like, I respect the fact that they're willing to try yeah. different things all the time. And like, both their two games, this, Juice this, Juice this and that other game that they showed Juice off at Summer Game Fest. Yeah, they're I, they're they're a, a French company, so I'm guessing it's Juicent. Juicent. Oh yeah. World that makes sense. Premiere. Is this Wolfenstein Three? Oh. oh yeah. Nope. No Bethesda. No Bethesda. No. Skull and Bones. Skull and Bones. No. Is it actually? It's secret mode. A secret. No. The Chinese room, we were just talking about them. They should do more horror games in open water. Mm, that sounds like a... a These are the people who did uh, Everybody's Gone to the Rapture and Dear Esther. Okay. Whoa, okay. Oh, oh yeah. so... The vibes check out for that, for sure. Yeah, they've done, they do walking sims, basically, yeah. You want an abandoned, like... It's an oil rig, I guess. You're on an oil rig. Oil rig. It's the horrors of oil. Yeah. <laughs> the horrors of nature being destroyed. Looks a little more actiony than their previous ones. Still wakes the deep. We can nice. run a bit. Creep factor to that. Yeah, good name. Yeah. Right. Early 2024. Cool. I'm down. Sumo that Digital's looks... involved. Okay. Sumo Digital's probably publishing. Yeah. Nice. That's a good get. Mm. Yeah. What do uh, we got here? This, I don't know. I thought oh, that this... was I thought that was Hi-Fi Rush for a second. I was like, ah! No, it's this not. This looks like the same team that did that um, that game that Cave okay. reviewed last year. It was called Way Wayfair Way Wayward. What? Wayward Strand. Way Wayward, Wayward Strand, Strand maybe. Yeah. Maybe yeah. It's Is the same like kind the of big... art style. Oh man, those are some frames. Um, yeah. This this kind of looks like the Sable team. Yeah, it looks. It looks. Yeah, I like the art and everything. Sable. It's a little sable-y. <laughs> I, I like that we got like uneven frame rate, and Momo's immediate was like, "Oh, this is this, this is sable." The <laughs> sable <does?" laughs> I'm not. That's on. It's not just that. It's the, it also just kind of looks like the style. Yeah, no, I. Yeah. I kind of was thinking the same when uh, it first popped no, up. Dungeons of Hinterburg. and Curve. I don't, I, don't know. Know. I don't know. It changed. Man. It changed perspective. Then it went like sort of over yeah. the shoulder, like yeah. Hades, kind of isometric. Yeah. I don't yeah. know who Microbird is. Let's see. Hi. Hey. Got new jump scare. Be returning as John. Yeah, I knew they were gonna do this. No fanfare. Just... No, I like that. That's good. No fanfare. I agree. Yeah. Phantom Liberty. This, new this is also the th only the third like spy mission. person we've and seen. Yeah, Idris and we're Elba, almost an hour in. That's Solomon Reed. hell yeah. It's I was I was guessing that we're gonna have Idris Elba on stage for this, cool but part of this, yeah. this, this makes man. sense. Um, as a player. You'll get to visit dog this is a good time for me to go and bake my dog potato night night because I didn't want to see a trailer for this because I I, I want to go in blind. I'm actually really excited for this. Twists, secrets. Like I've wanted to go stuff. back to Cyberpunk since they did that 1.5 update because I, I played the whole thing before that. I mean, Witcher yeah. Three fans say the best part are the expansions, so I feel like. Really oh yeah. That is true, though. I can confirm that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
But and I, I will say about that I'm Dungeons of Hinterberg game, it seems uh -huh. like Microbird so, Games is like, this pleasure, is like their first thing. Really? So, introduce yeah. the official trailer for Phantom Liberty. This is just not a Check quick internet search, so I, I might be missing something. <laughs> so intimate. Oh, he's leaving. <laughs> <laughs> he just ran off. There's gotta be a way He's out. gotta go shoot right. John Wick 5 or something. I don't yeah, know. yeah. I'm dying. There's nothing can stop that. I was wondering where on the timeline this would take place. Like, I feel like it has to be like during the game, like Lee, campaign. Lee. Like, it can't be after the end. My name is Songbird. I'm an NUS yeah. intelligence analyst. I know about the bomb to get in your head. Are they showing different? I can no, you call me a different life. person. Yeah. Wait, is it? What's the catch? I need you to get to Dogtown. No, no, it's. I don't think it's the same voice actor who played V. I mean, with everything bit digital, right, your consciousness could have been just put somewhere else. Well, it depends on what ending you got, but yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, that wouldn't be unheard of for them to make one, one ending canon. canon. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Get Myers out of there. Time to evac. Her safety is the top priority. They catch us out here, we're dead. Wait, hear that? God Almighty, it's moving! Run! This way, quick! Something ratted us out. You know, V, treason ain't ever black and white. So also keep in mind they originally planned two expansions and they combined them into this one expansion. So they they are saying this is the size of like two expansions basically. Which well, how yeah. much how big is one expansion for Cyberpunk? You know. Well, it's all, yeah. That on Witcher, then, yeah, that's massive. But. Yeah. Got iron in your head. Got to put it to someone's head. Pull the trigger. But yeah, I mean, like that they're not it's like a whole game. I like that they're not bullshitting with the graphics. Like it, it looks like what you'd expect. Yeah, it looks like how the game looks. Yeah, it looks like how the game looks. Like. September? Hey, alright, September 26. Nice. Good deal. I'm very excited for this. Yeah. Alright, now Wolfenstein. Alright, here it is. <laughs> well, this has to be big if it's saying all okay. footage captured in game. Yeah, if they're, if Never they're mind. opening with that. <laughs> Every road. As it's. Oh, it's gonna be GTA 6. Going. This is not GTA 6. <laughs> this is a city oh. builder. Is this Sims it's 5? Probably, it's probably Sims, uh, 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 damn it, what's Sim it called? Sim City. Sim City, uh, what's it called? Sim City is what you're thinking of. Not, not oh, is this, uh, uh city, city Skylines, city Skylines city 2? City Skylines 2, yeah. Yeah. Oh, city Skyline. yeah, it could yeah. be City like Skylines 2. This looks very yeah. different from City Skylines, though. Every time I make a city skyline city, the traffic is always yeah. Yeah. Like I don't it's, know what yeah. goes wrong. You need to have public transport. I do that, it makes it worse. <laughs> this is definitely Skylines. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I it is now. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. People, like, ask me, like, oh, Nirav, is your job, like, City Skylines? I'm like, yeah, but, like, with way <laughs> less control over what happens. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you're, like, God over a city. <laughs> yeah. This is a very fun video game that I'm incredibly bad at. It's not nearly enough. I, this is the one city builder I don't like because it is too much like my real job. Like, this is a lot of the <laughs> stuff I do at work. <laughs> you just said it's nothing like this. No, no, no. It's like with way, but like you, but the things you do actually have an effect on the city is what I mean. Oh, like, I was right. say, you have a problem with the bodies piling up because they can't get to the. Oh my god. Like, yeah. if you wanted, if you wanted, if you wanted to play oh, city skylines, but in a way that like you were powerless and all of your decisions meant nothing, then you should be an urban planner in real life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. It's worth oh, you playing right. so you feel yeah. like you're getting that control, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's that extra bit of satisfaction. A great Halloween game. I hate the name so much, because I always used Why to think it's called it's City Skylines. Sky yeah, lines. it should be City Skylines, like, singular. I agree. Yeah, not City Skylines. It's so, ugh. I'm actually surprised it's coming to this Xbox because like be, uh, that doesn't feel like a. <laughs> oh, six. Wait, wait, what? 
Oh, oh no, this, is this is their other project. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's fantasy. It's fantasy. Re fantasy zero. Re fantasy or no whatever way. it's called. Yeah. It actually is. It's I'm their. It's their. Yeah, it's their non Persona oh, game. New Atlas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, not an SFT game. Yeah. What? Okay. This looks. They need more frames crazy. on the rate, but yeah. <laughs> hey, Shoji Meguro! Yay! Yay! Shoji Meguro did the Persona 345 soundtracks. What? This looks very Persona for something that's not Persona. <laughs> From the it's creators the of director. all the Personas. It's the same director, yeah. It's the Persona director. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. It's really just fantasy Persona. Okay, I will play this. Yeah. This looks so good. And, and shaking hands is very important in this game. Yeah, you, yeah, you really need to learn to shake people's hands, right? Between this and, like, Eternites this year, like, people handshaking fans are eaten. This basically looks like if Persona was Fire Emblem. <laughs> this looks so good. Oh. Yeah. Really good. Man. Persona 6 Dream is, is this like really framey for anyone else? Like... It's definitely framey. A little bit? I'm, I'm yeah. gonna guess it's not out this year. No, it's definitely not. Yeah, this will be a next year thing. Oh, it looks so good. Yeah, it looks very cool. I will absolutely be there. It's Atlas, so it's going to be yeah. 200 like hours, and metaphor? I'll be okay It's just it. called Metaphor. Yeah. yeah. Wow. 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 That awesome. Met no, Metaphor, metaphor Ray, Ray Fantasio. Fantasio. Wow. Aerith's losing her mind right now. Yeah, yeah. That's Shout out to Aerith, who's not so watching right. us. <laughs> Game, Studios. Game Studios. Okay. I play not Bethesda, but... No. I'm, I'm we, we, got about, we got about, like, probably 15 Everyone minutes else. left of uh, Xbox. Yeah. Rare? Never Banner mind. Saga. Oh. Oh. Banner Saga. Okay. Stoic. Stoic. Okay, the interesting. Cities have fallen. Our people's only means I've been really wanting to play Banner Saga and just never got here. to it. I'm so bad at tactical Delphi. games. <laughs> I played a little bit of a Banner Saga and just kind of fell off of it. This world Ooh. To find the origins of this evil. Bring hope back to our people. Co op. Alright. Nice. I am now so confident that it's ending with Wolfenstein 3. What else do they gain? I don't yeah, know. I don't think they could end with anything else, so. Banjo. Unless, um, yeah, unless there's like a surprise. <laughs> I don't know that they would surprise. end with Banjo, even, dude. Like, I don't know. I know Banjo's. I know Banjo's important to a lot of people, but I don't think it's a showcase closer. I think it is. I would. I would. I would be like, whoa. The return. The return of Banjo, I think, would be big enough to end with. Yeah, Isn't maybe. It? Maybe. Can do it. Yeah, that's true. It's they good. did do that. It's gonna be right for a. Hell yeah. Oh my god. Teleport. So <laughs> it's gonna be a twenty-minute band performance again. Oh no. So far, I believe all these release dates, so that's good. No, they're lying. This is it. This is gonna be Wolfenstein 3. I feel in my bones. It just says world premiere. This is gonna be it. Nope, never mind. Nope. Instantly you feel pressed. it in your skull and bones. It's <laughs> your skull and bones! <laughs> what could this be? In Exile. Oh, yeah, what have they been doing? Yeah. New IP then, I guess? This looks very Bioshocky. Yeah. Mm. In Exile has it's... been making Bioshock 4 secretly. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'll own and complain about. Go ahead. By the way, the style that we call Bioshocky is called Diesel Punk. Mm. What's the difference between Diesel Punk and Steampunk? Well, like, look at it. No one's wearing stupid fucking goggles. Oh, <laughs> well, it's very close. It's very close. It's very <laughs> no, no, it's, it's, it's just a subgenre. It's just a subgenre of Steampunk. Like, yeah. It's but steampunk, it but everybody has 2020 vision. Right. Gotcha. It's like, right. is that. <laughs> huh? it, no, no. It's, it's gonna be like, everything. they use oil rather than steam. I'm waiting for this to be a first person shooter <laughs> so we can all be like, yeah, yeah, this yeah, is yeah, just it's Bioshock. Bioshock, yeah. Oh, it's oh yeah, it's, it's got him. Yes! It is! Yes! It is Bioshock! <laughs> This is gonna be That'd dishonored Bioshock. Bioshock. That'd be wild. Oh, even tight bootleg Bioshock at this point. Definite, it's fine. I'm yeah, so. Just a bootleg, but that's fine. People are so I, starving. It. It's like every yeah. fake Bioshock. We're like, hey, this is it. This is the one. Yeah, this is it. Finally. <laughs> Although Momo is the world's only defender of Atomic Heart, so. 
<laughs> is it true? I'm, I have not played it yet to defend it. Oh, it's like time have... shit. We oh, don't have hand sorry. powers, so, so it can't be Bioshock. No, no, or we do. Game. I think your guns have powers. So you're going back and forth between the past and future? Oh. And it looks like your decisions will affect how the world looks. You think you're right, yeah. Like that? This Gif could says, be really um, cool. Gif Seal says that Diesel Punk is steampunk, but they worship petrol. <laughs> Right. Surely, okay, surely. Okay. I like, Clockwork I like Revolution. Clockwork, and then Clockwork Revolution was like, okay. Yeah, clock, just, 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 clock oh, just, okay. just calling so it Clockwork. Like clockwork would have been cool. Yeah, that would have been cool. I need to see, like, yeah. extended gameplay for that, but it looks cool. That looks cool, yeah. yeah. I'm, in, I'm on board. Thank you all for all right, we got one more uh, thing oh, after this. It's a special okay. day for me and the team. I'm excited to see 11 games showcased from our first party studios. We opened with Fable from Playground Games, which will bring the franchise into the modern era while staying true to its British style and humor. Compulsion and In Exile shared their first original Definitely experiences since joining this. Xbox with mm. South of Midnight Has and Clockwork be. Revolution. Oh, it could be Silk Song. Or Indie. Yeah, Silk <laughs> so, so Song, Shadow Drop. At least next year so we all RPG own Silk Masters Song now. At Obsidian. In addition to about I'm going to laugh if they close with machine games, but it's the Indiana Jones game. Oh my oh, god, no, they're going to do that. that. They're going to do that now that you said that. In 2024. <laughs> no. Later this I mean, month, players can look We haven't seen Indy yet. I like that I mean, they're, they show gameplay, that'd be cool. I like that they're stressing like this is our first party lineup, like it's pretty good. Like Yeah, that makes sense. And Forza Motorsport, both built for Xbox Series X, S, and PC. We are also honored to share 14 games today from our creative partners. Phil's, Phil's voice like sounds Star a little Wars off. Outlaws I don't know what it is. It's, he's, he's, he's been Redfall pilled. Yeah. With he's, on, he's very stressed. 33 Immortals. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Lotus. If he was under the weather, I would not be surprised with how, how his last <laughs> month has been. And more Persona games I wish more of this stuff was like sooner, but like other than that, it was a good showcase. With Sega Atlas. That's the I'd thing, is like, like to it just seems like everything is, is so good. fucking far away. <laughs> like, yeah, that's been Xbox's deal. biggest it's issue, and it's still here. What is next from the Metaphor looks persona awesome. Here in our showcase. We are focused on putting our players and Hexen, game creators uh, I mean, I'm cool with Phil wearing a Hexen do. shirt. I don't know what that's all no about. If, if he closes with Hexen 2 <laughs> or something. Or over the, cloud, <laughs> the clues in his clothes, it might be the blazer. Here at Xbox. I know Phil's a huge Hexen consoles, fan, we have heard your even before this shirt. Two but... What? Shut up. First, I want to hear this. We have significantly increased our supply of Xbox Series X. Okay. Making it easier for fans to find globally. Second, was it that hard to begin with? Yeah, it was for a little while. Xbox Series S, and I'm oh, yeah. excited to share the, 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 the official storage. As well. We already knew about this, what are we though. Doing here? They, they what added it. Yeah, it's like an external drive or whatever. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, so now there's definitely Wolfenstein 3. They can't end the show with the Xbox storage uh, no. expansion. I almost feel like in I almost feel like it might be Indiana Jones, though. <laughs> you might be right. Um, other external hard drives on the Xbox, so you have to use the Xbox one. I think you can you use other use ones. Very specific. Yeah, ones. There, there's. Uh, yeah, there are specific ones you can use that are like. Oh, uh, it's like like PlayStation. Oh wait, then. that's not an external. That's a new Xbox Series. Oh, this is just a, yeah. a bigger drive or whatever, uh, one black. terabyte. The the now, PlayStation the externals are all like proprietary. All yeah, they're. Where I like Xbox uses like a very customized version. Oh, is that uh, it? Oh, so the one more thing is just the Starfield Direct we already knew about. So sit tight and enjoy. Um, oh, okay. Starfield Interesting. Direct. I okay. I don't know why they advertise this as like a separate thing goodbye. to be honest. Yeah, because it seems like it's just one it because, showcase. Like, I think if you have just like 40 minutes of Starfield in their show, people are, without like warning people, they're gonna be like, what the hell? They just showed Starfield for 40 minutes. I guess oh, so. they just want it. It's direct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just starting now. So just, yeah, exactly. That's a smart way to advertise it. You know, right, I, I think you're right. I'm ready to be convinced on this game. I really wish that, like, I don't know. I, I guess I thought there would be, like, another thing and they, like, they would <laughs> end too. this showcase and then start a new one. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. That was, yeah. Because, yeah, I will say, like, the stuff they showed is kind of cool, but, like, 
Xbox's biggest issue is they can't put games out, so it's just hard to be excited about new yeah, stuff. Yeah, I didn't like. I didn't see what is coming out. Like this year, they have they have two games coming out this year still. There's like that hasn't changed. Poison, that's yeah, it. yeah. Well, one of those, I know at least one of those was an expansion, so it's not doesn't hey, quite. Everyone, thank you so you know, much. That's a loss. Where's his leather He's jacket? No leather. <laughs> wow. game studios. Oh, he wow. went Canadian. We've been so lucky over the decades to make the kind of games that we love here, and that's thanks to all of you. From I swear the never age. Yeah, this man is oh, this man is like 55 years old. <laughs> and throughout all that time, we don't I don't remember him looking any different to this. No. Game. You know. What if we could take that feeling? He moisturized this before the money made from Skyrim. That's it. But I will I will say Todd seems like the type really of guy that where you would get some work done. Or what you could do. I don't know. I remember I remember that guy who like left Bethesda who did this like big interview last year was like that man is dangerous because I swear if you if you spend five minutes talking to him he could talk you into living into a, in a cardboard box on the street. <laughs> he just, he's always seemed like a very passionate. Yeah yeah yeah. What we think makes our game special. So let's jump in and take a look. And I feel like. He's been in the game industry long enough where if he had a reputation for being kind of a dick to work for Oh yeah, no, everyone loves working for him. Yeah, yeah for sure. In over 25 years. I saw a Bethesda employee a wearing dungarees uh, near Av. Through what? Through, where you well, overall, is you called them? And you get that oh, feeling okay, I don't know what dungarees are. <laughs> but this time, it's not just one world. I like this UI a lot, actually. It's over a thousand worlds. Yeah. yeah. Because the choice of where to go, it's not ours, it's yours. Does this just mean Dishonored is a diesel punk now, game? Yeah, it is. Is it? I thought it was steampunk. Well, that, that's what I'm saying diesel, is like, there's a bunch of... Diesel punk's oil. Diesel feet. punk's like an yeah, oil. Yeah, so the distance. arcane, like, kind of calls it as a joke. They they call it whale punk because everything runs on yes, whale oil. Well, you're right. Yeah. In the first yeah. one, so don't go to something else in the second one. I can't yeah. The second one's much more steampunk because everything's very clockworky and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, those are all just sub-genres of, um, of steampunk. Like, yeah. Fallout is also called Atom Punk is the, is the, like, aesthetic so description. The based on the type of star and the makeup uh, okay. of the planet's atmosphere. All right, let's let's shoot oh, some dudes. Also have an all this new looks very per se. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And of course, you can play it in third person, and you can play it in first person. That is one thing that, that like no other studio has seems to have figured out is like being able to sim seamlessly switch those. Given its scale. Um, they did an Evil Within two, but it was oh, added like a, as an extra it. DLC like later on, like a so, DLC. So Final Fantasy fifteen also added first person mode later, which sucks. It's so bad. And maybe even <laughs> the Evil Within one works unexpected. very well, and it okay. makes the game ten times more scary. <laughs> nice. Spacer punk, get him! Doesn't seem so abandoned. Yeah, little fucking punk over here. Got to reload, baby. There we go. Yeah, they're like the they're like floating around and shooting things. Seems like it will be fun. <laughs> yeah. Idiot! Idiot! It's like this dumb idiot. Let's take, all his, let's take all his creds. We do love stuff and all of the items allowing you to pick everything up. And you can view all that we like in stuff. your data menu. We do like stuff. Oh, there's any um, fashion in this, so it's very much like the fashion of Fallout 4. Oh, thank god it's not a fucking mouse cursor you pull around. Oh, thank god. From all of your weapons, to spacesuits. Oh yeah, good. To food, we just obsess over the details and food. We Although, obsess over food. how much customization is that going to be? In Was that like five store, cockroaches with uh, whipped cream? Fast travel too. Uh, oh, I want ship. a pink space suit. There were strawberries. I might be wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I left Vosco here back at my ship. Welcome back, Captain Howard. Captain Howard. You can even say your name. Let's head out. <laughs> they did it again. <laughs> yeah, they did that in Fallout 4 as well. Yeah, but didn't really come up very often. No, it was only if you kept Codsworth as a companion. And wow. and it, was like, it, it only worked if you had like uh, a name that they had on it. They right, but they they recorded like 2,000 names though, so... NASA Punk, did you hear that? Yes! <laughs> ah! Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, that's so funny. 
obviously the NASA, which is the rigid, hard function over style, and then punk, which is all about style. You can see that visual style coming through in your ship. Your ship is your home for you and your crew. And like many of the spaces in our game, it has a slightly retro and analog touch. A bit of lo-fi rather than sci-fi, where it's like the alien well used, um, franchise worn, mm -hmm. and lived in. Alrighty, what's the plan, Captain? Lo-fi beats this for your space. Is your star map. It so, the plan by the way, your character off. doesn't talk in this one you again. They brought that back. And resources. Okay. You can choose a landing spot or that. fast travel. Yeah, that's no, fine. no, that's good. That was the thing a lot of people were clamoring After for was to have a silent protagonist again. The the I mean, it was all right when you had the female the one because she was a much better voice actor. Than well, the, the problem the problem is for mods because modded quests just like didn't work in in uh, Fallout yeah. 4 because you didn't have your voice actor for your main character. To see all the systems in this part of the galaxy. Here, you can plot a course to ones that are light years away. This Ooh. uses your ship's grab drive to fold space and jump to these systems. And you will need to upgrade your ship and skills if you want to... Oh, this kind of reminds me of uh, Mass Effect a little now, bit. We'll plot a course yeah, to the Alpha Centauri I, I, think, I swear they said Mass Effect was an inspiration. Yeah, yeah, you're like, jump, like, using the gravitational pull of each of these planets to, like, launch yourself to the next one. Yeah, though hopefully Mass Effect 2 and not Mass Effect 1, where most of the planets are just like empty basses of space. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Well, Mass Effect 1 was honestly much more linear than it was like an open world thing. Yeah. I think like, I don't know, I like it though, I like that. Oh. I hate it. <laughs> I mean, Mass some planets are just going to be barren, but that's just, yeah. you know, the way it is. They need like a building or something, a Starbucks, anything, just so it's a look at. <laughs> Oh man, that's what that's what Mass Effect needed. As you land in a city like New Atlantis, your eyes are guided upwards to just these boundless cool. vacuums. I really like this city, yeah. It's the that's, this is very city Star Trek. You've ever made, not just in size, but also in the amount of custom art, crowds, and quests. So the main focus when we're designing a city is obviously what supports the story. We try and tell as many small stories as possible. This is a colony war memorial. It's a few moments of gameplay that make the space feel like it's full of real characters that are going about their day-to-day -day lives. It's paralyzing if you really stop and think about it. Buddy, it's coffee. There's your Starbucks. It's also where your adventure with Constellation <laughs> <out> begins. <laughs> Welcome to Constellation. Uh, this, we have a lot to talk about. This person does not seem like a them, good person. Constellation no. is sort of seen as this mythical group. Most people don't even know they exist anymore. They're the last true explorers in the galaxy, and they're trying to find the answers to some of humanity's biggest questions. The artifacts are so different, so alien, and I'm certain... The true the test of quality for Starco will be whether your character can have long hair or not. They showed a ton of hairstyles already. If you can, Very, can, do, can you have long hair? Like, properly long hair? Oh I'm not sure. Uh, I, I don't know. I think so. Bethesda have already strayed away from, like... Right, because it'll, cause it'll, like, clip, a, it'll mm -hmm. clip through your armor yeah. and stuff, yeah. Yeah, for sure. A cast of characters. You've got Sarah Morgan, the ex-soldier and adventurer. Now I suppose it, the, the it, it depends if any NPCs have it, right? Because it's the same design. Yeah. Definitely yeah. Definitely something else so you can see any NPCs with long hair, then... The I mean, not these, I've seen them so far. Yeah, it's Protégé not looking good so far. Walter, no. A very successful businessman in the settled systems and Constellation's financier. Anything goes as long as you have the money. There's also Vlad, the ex-pirate. He seems Sam very Cole, nice and, like, he won't betray us. <laughs> and Barrett. You know what I hate about these pirates? Completely <laughs> resistant to my otherwise irresistible charm. Okay, that could have been trouble, whatever his answer to why he hates pirates was. Yeah. <laughs> Settled Systems is home to all kinds of different stories, people, and adventures for you to uncover. That has a fun oh, base. Oh, okay. Okay. Ooh. Oh, nice. Wow. Well. When will Starfield get an Avatar DLC expansion? The United Colonies Ooh, is where know. you'll find the New Atlantis, <laughs> the first I mean, major yeah. human settlement in space. It would be interesting if they actually did that. Like, the actually people who live here brought in stuff law, like that. Discipline, the and the legacy yeah. of humanity. I'll say I've just seen Ponytail so far. Yeah, so I did see a Ponytail. You ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? 
Doesn't count. No, this does. This does. does this does, the city looks a lot like the you new like Star Trek movies. I think. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, for that's sure. The city of on Mars to this day serves as the largest mining facility for the United Colonies. <laughs> hours, hey. You might find yourself in a much more wild and independent coalition of star systems. This is Freestar oh, that looks Collective cool. Space. Ooh. Well, okay. The capital okay. of the Freestar Collective is Aquila City. The Stone Root Inn is an Aquila City fixture. These cities are all bigger than any of their cities they've made before, so that's nice. And intuition mm -hmm. Yeah. To do what's best for the people. I do wish there'd been more cities in Fallout 4. Yeah, I agree, because there were only two, really. Like, yeah. yeah. Where almost anything goes. Two that were interesting enough to explore. Yeah. I am definitely a lot more convinced of getting this. Yeah, same. Mm -hmm. I think my only nitpick about what we've seen so far is I wish we saw more, like, HUD gameplay. Like yeah, there's like one little bit of combat, wasn't there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Outside the bounds of civilized space, there are still plenty of unclaimed systems to explore. But I think this is a much better presentation, though, than the last time they showed up. Yeah, the yeah, definitely. I mean, they, they need to convince people they're making, like, next-gen Skyrim, basically. Especially like, after yeah. everything yeah. they've gone through last month, absolutely. Uh -huh. If anything, I think I'd wish they hadn't piece. shown the last this one the and just waited until now. To challenge mm -hmm. the Red Mile. They think the galaxy is Man. theirs. They are wrong. It belongs to the. So these are all the factions. Yeah, yeah. Oh no! Pushing our cities and settlements further than we ever have before. It's all there, waiting for you. A slice of humanity's future. I want some hot male romance options as well this time. I don't want, like, a ghoul or a merc who's got rotten teeth. Like, we, we need someone decent. <laughs> There's Deacon, man. You can't romance him. I'm so pissed off about uh, that. Oh, never mind. <laughs> but the yeah. story is the one that you tell. I'm the type of person who spends yeah, Pre Preston Garvey is like a walking vanilla ice cream sandwich. When they see all of the improvements we've made. <laughs> you got like a buzz light, yeah. One of the biggest overhauls was done through Preston Garvey's main system. interest in life is a wide range of faces building up settlements and yeah. ethnicities. If I went on a team, if I had to go on a date with Preston Garvey, I think I'd have to go like crawl out the bathroom we window. Exact system to create I feel like if you were to suggest so going on a date with Preston Garvey, he just would you could imply that you were having a meeting instead. <laughs> uh, Rhea says they can't, can't believe they stole the name Atlantic from Stargate Atlantis. Okay, Sad. take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit oh, here we go. Oh, yes, yeah, the opening. Customer create, uh, character yeah. Perfect. Does this yeah. look familiar? Classic. Okay. Hey. You? you start your character yeah. creation journey as though you're cycling through employee records. Long hair? Are we going to see long hair? Yeah. Uh, shoulder length. We got shoulder length. I feel like we're going to get capped at shoulder length. Yeah. Your journey yeah. can be as detailed or Let's as be again. to be. This One of these I days. Kinda, more to I just kind of hope there's like male long hair that doesn't, that's not, you know. Yeah. It's also just, the simplest I wouldn't mind if it clipped. Just please. The as possible to make <laughs> but that's, but that's they're, they're even like talking about the hair. The system technology to make long hair. I'm sorry. Phil. <laughs> Maybe it's one of those things like like doors where like game developers are like, this is the hardest thing to program in the world, and no one can explain why. Yeah, the last of Us two did it really well. This is also where you start to decide. But that was also one character. That's where backgrounds yeah. come Like, you you can program the character to do that, you know? Not, backgrounds like, whatever they make. And start you out with three basic skills. I just like that we, From as a community, dusty. have you know, just been okay out. with the Which fact that in games, cross, doors just push up open what's regardless of what side you're on. You never know yeah. When yeah. Is it just, just work like that in video games. And I'm okay with that. To be fair, more doors should just be like that. Yeah, I agree. That split second when you're like, right, which way is this going to go? Mm -hmm. right, hold on. I want to. I want to like listen to them a little bit. To customize your build even further by letting you pick up to three traits. Traits are completely optional, and they come with their own advantages. And Dude, Neon Street, Neon Street Rat. Are you kidding? That's my. That was my nickname in college. 
Is it really, really you? He'll join no. your crew and he'll give you gifts. It's, it's I don't want him. I don't want him to join my crew. I can't believe I get to they brought him back. Breathing the same he survived for I've thousands of years. <laughs> the adoring fan. My favorite trait is. <laughs> is that the same voice you have that? To I think it to is. Support your parents, but they're very sweet and it's really fun to go visit them. What? Here we got oh, ourselves yeah. a visitor. Oh my That's god. That's really cute. I came you have, you have parents in this game? Yeah. Okay. Is this the first Hello. video game where you have living parents? <laughs> you need to pick the trait to have parents, to be clear. Doesn't you don't just have parents. Oh my god. Oh. That's not a joke. That's what they said. You know? Yeah, Neon Street Rat's probably not going to have parents. No matter what you choose, yeah. there'll yeah. be plenty of ways for you. Yeah, so they brought back the old dialogue system, which is great. Yeah. There are ways yeah. to do that too. What a view. It's a feast for it the is him. Off we go to another Push him. A door fan. Ah. Uh, <laughs> no. that on your own. <laughs> Just as dreams are about to come true, you can kill yeah. the fan. <laughs> Oh, they have those. Uh, oh, I thought there was. I was gonna say they have those cool That's whiteboard when your journey walls. Can really begin. They don't. We took what we loved about skills and perks from our previous games and put them together to create an all-new skill system. I don't know why. I just Each realized that man is wearing a visor. A skill yeah. Point. Yeah. I was wondering what Which the hat. Used what purpose that had? Do you think they made him in the character creator? <laughs> Our visors in Starfield. By completing challenges I hope so. Yeah. So I like this system a lot because it basically combines the Fallout and Skyrim things. Like, so you are choosing which path to follow, but then like you actually rank it up by doing it. Like, the more you intimidate people successfully, the better you get at intimidation. There's a lot to choose from. I like the Xeno sociology skill because it lets you mind control aliens. Ooh. Wow, that's a red flag. Yeah. Boost pack. Out of the <laughs> gate. I'm boost packing everywhere. The vi oh, yeah. A man with a visor would want to boost everywhere. I like maxing out my physical tree so I can get neuro strikes and just punch that's my way through mustache. combat. That's <laughs> Melee! <laughs> that one's a lot of fun. Invest in the skills that suit your playstyle. I'm very much a stealth player. So... I'm out there pickpocketing everyone. Yeah. The part about being stealthy is slowly creeping through vents like you're in a movie and then jumping out and springing on people. Yippee ki -yay. Whenever possible, I like to talk my way through situations. This area's off limits. Very handy that all their workers Fine, are just issue you an access call. Perfect start, <laughs> perfect uh, time. <laughs> Like, can imagine the email, right? Like Which one of you are stealth players? We need you for a video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I do that more often than not, though. I like blowing stuff up. <laughs> Whoops. I do feel very sold now. Yeah, oh, no, yes. I mean, I obviously was already. Yeah, but this yes. is a much better presentation. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Uh, this might be a pre-order, or maybe not. I will pro. I will pro. Pre-order. <laughs> pre-order. In Starfield, there are yeah. whole star systems with new life, resources, and adventures. Okay. Our team worked hard to strike a balance between fun and realism. We studied data from NASA and a multitude of other sources to help us make the world feel believable. Does it have a photo mode? From the way we approached I would hope so. Atmospheres That'd be very nice. Biomes based on the planet's distance from the Man, sun. that's beautiful. Once we had created a grounded world, we could start looking at all the things that make that world fun. <laughs> when you leave the planet and head into space, you'll be navigating asteroid fields. Having chance meetings with interesting strangers, dogfighting in space, and exploring derelict ships. Oh, that's nice, oh. actually. Yeah. Yeah. That is interesting. It's all out there. I don't know that, like, I'm just going to say, like, it's about rewarding your I don't know that anyone's going to, like, make a bigger game than this. You know what I mean? Planet? Like... The alleys of a city. This feels like we're kind of hitting like a. It's called well, No Man's I mean, Sky. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. 
To be fair, look how long it's taken them to. Right. It, this is like a so. seven-year production of. <laughs> and like, it no, feels like there's more attention production. on like. Yeah. Long game production games. Like it feels like Space more people and more possible. studios are like Thanks it's just not ship. worth it. Right. I agree. So, yeah. It's almost it's not... like having another yeah. character or home. You can make all your. I mean, it's benefit of having. I think you'll be blown Money from the ESO, right? Like people buy those. Uh, right. Yeah. Engines and stuff. Sure you something you like. Customize and upgrade okay. that ship. And hire a crew to. I mean, yeah, it's definitely run. one advantage that Microsoft will have. And in the next starts in decades to come is like they've got Bethesda. Bethesda will still make Bethesda games. And like, yeah. There won't be a whole lot of studios that do that. No, there. I don't think really there will be many at all. Like, maybe you start off with like the only ones that were even doing it before were like Obsidian. Oh, there's another Microsoft studio. So yeah. Yeah. And like I think and Cy Cyberpunk is very comparable to like a Bethesda game. Like yeah. That kind of a thing. But and make some changes. You can customize and upgrade everything you see here. That's and really I really like that you can get like They also said that like your your spaceship like is going to like only fly as well as you build it you also. So like the mm -hmm. mode. Yeah. <laughs> here you can change anything. You can like really fuck up your ship by like changing it out and stuff. Adding this feels like the part of the game that I'm going to tune out of crew. and then like yeah. eternally struggle. <laughs> can change your ship's yeah, yeah, this, 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 this makes me nervous. This, this makes yeah. me nervous. Really? Oh, I think this looks awesome. I'm so excited yeah. about this. Uh, I'm, not very, yeah. fully I'm not a big car person. Oh, pink. To get the exact look you want. The yeah, this definitely feels like something where I'm going to skip through a lot of the stats. tutorial, and then when I try and build the ships, I'll be like, why isn't this working for me? I'm just hoping there's presets, you know? I don't have to. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it'd be ni it'd be nice to have free sets for sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. I get that. Bring their own look and feel to every piece of your ship. Oh, like an um, from uh, living quarters, an auto. Kind of yeah, auto build, yeah, yeah sort of thing. Yeah. I'm sure they'll have like prefabs though, like you can buy from certain yeah. companies or whatever. Good. Very much a person a who's like, ship, but with oh, a have the red car, please. Your ship can look like <laughs> almost anything yeah. you want. One car, please. Like, oh, one of my favorite ways <laughs> yeah. of customizing ships is um, I make them look like animals. I like that. I'm the on board. HMS yeah, Platypus, that, that's valid. Aw. Where I had a, like, a giant tail. She said it's a, the, a hippopotamus. <laughs> and we've done it's okay. spiders. We've done oh, no, you can, can you write words? We've oh my god. <laughs> you can make a mech ship. Your imagination is. Someone's gonna make a yeah, Aerith, that's you what Aerith is making, 100. This is looking better. Not the only person who will. The two most popular home. things with this game, from a spaceship creation point, will be Ready the extra extravagant stuff, and then just the most valid things. Ready. Oh yeah. There will oh, be yeah. no in between. I do. I do wonder how much the outside construction affects the inside. Some of the members of Constellation. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. These companions can serve on your crew. But that and one, that was a mech. Like, yeah. oh, you're gonna have so to this, do a lot of together, this for me, yeah. this for me is like a gigantic improvement, because like, this you're each sorry. Comes with their own valuable I was gonna say this sounds interesting. Yeah. So in Fallout 4, whenever you had your companions, and then you were like, all right, well, like I want to go with another companion, they would just go back to one of your settlements, but. In this, they actually stay on your ship and they work and run the ship. So they're like, your whole crew is with you all the time. I used to send them all to the Red yeah. Rocket um, gas station and I romance them all. So when I went to bed at the Gas Rocket... I think you and I played really different games. <laughs> what kind of crazy cult were you running in Fallout, Jess? You just like simultaneously get like the same like pillow talk. Like, what happened to the other? Like also, when you drop something as well, they're like, hey, you, you drop something. For instance. <laughs> uh, let's see what Vasco can do. Around the, the core basics of a NASA machine. Please avoid getting shot. You might die. He reminds me of the robot <laughs> from Interstellar a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was just thinking that too. This tends to make him feel more human like and give him a little personality. It is a shame. Can we customize him? Requires so much it looks like, shape. um, uh, a projector. Using the ship building tools and crew selection <laughs> features in Starfield. I could see minimal we'll customization for him. The ship of your dreams. Yeah, you could customize Codsworth and Fallout. I was just hoping like something like that. Yeah, I just. You can make him pink and, now, and that's it. Let's take to the sky. I love this idea of being like dozens of hours into this and like walking on your ship and there's like a whole crew of like people 
that you've met from all these different planets, like running your yeah. ship and everything. It's so cool. I, I used to turn Codsworth into like a death machine. <laughs> I wonder if you like could just recruit too many and you'd be like, right, you gotta get rid of someone. Yeah. Oh, maybe. You know? We're putting you in the cockpit of your very own spaceship and telling you that you can do pretty much anything. And that is really cool for us as developers. Space flight should be exciting and dangerous. This is also a game, remember, that 500 people have been working on for like the every step of the way. Six, seven years, so. We've extended that sense of control to ship combat. It's not about just hitting your triggers to fire your weapons. I was gonna say, like, remember when, like, what, six years ago they were talking about Starfield and then teased, yeah. like, a new Elder Scrolls at the same time? Right. Yeah. As if that was, like, actually going to happen. I would like if they at least just gave us a title for Elder Scrolls 6, you know? Yeah, or just confirmed where it is, even though we've pretty much worked it out anyway. I mean, they, they have talked about it before. I mean, they have talked about it, though. Like, they've already started doing work on it, but... Yeah. I really like that system. You should always yeah, it's, um, it's a power... You're not alone. Is it Squadrons or something? Yes, yeah, Squadrons! That was it! I was literally just wondering what game I played that was like that. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Except I think Squadrons is only three. Three different things. Yeah, this like, is six. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so you can do cool. the first person, third person for... Uh, space flying too, that's cool. Yeah. I wonder if we can loot the ships that we take I think we can, because they talked about like boarding other ships and stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. I, it's like I, I wonder how automatic it is. Yeah. Oh, look at those shields going down, baby. We got them. After destroying an enemy ship, you can loot the remote yeah. the cockpit. Yeah! There you go. From your you cockpit, that's so nice. That engages you into scrap. <laughs> Oh, scraps to use for set but building. You can also take a more personal approach by docking with the enemy vessel and boarding their ship. I'm so glad they delayed this a year. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm this definitely cool. gonna make a uh, playlist with the Interstellar soundtrack to play while I <laughs> fly around in space. Murph! Once you've taken your ship's gonna like tear in half, and you have to yours. board the path you're on onto the other half, at and it's gonna yeah. be the perfect Retrieve time. Yeah. Any spaceport. Yeah. But space is way more than fighting for your life. It's also Just about love. Planet side, there are plenty <laughs> of sites I think they already talked about that part. On the way to your next adventure. Like these massive star, star yards. yards. Oh, wow. <laughs> it reminds me of the, uh, like you know, the Gundam, the thing the Gundam parts are in. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. I'm gonna fly my Gundam there. Look at this fucker! Wow. Yes! Wow. <laughs> that's a style choice. That's a choice. I'm proud of him. He, he looks like one of the people from the Hunger Games. <laughs> if, I had to, if I had to imagine somebody who runs a star yard, it'd be that. <laughs> oh, it's my yeah. birthday! There are plenty of personal encounters to be had as well. Spot the guy who struggles to grow a beard. You come across to trade, so he just tattoos one on. Maybe even commit an act of <laughs> Let's do this. When I'm playing, I generally go crazy. Um, I definitely go like the more piracy routes. Um, I want to take. This woman is like visibly shaking. Ship. She's so excited. <laughs> I just like that she looks so professional, and, and she's just like, I just love to cause chaos. I love yeah. chaos. I love stealing all their things. Um, but I yeah. Want to just start taking things from people. This isn't even my watch. I can't wait for the employee <laughs> who's like, I don't play video games, I just like, in the work here. Yeah. Hello, stranger. I just finished cooking up some food. If you want to come on over, just pop is that on grandma? by. Oh, we have a, is that what we have a granny as yeah. well. Hell yeah. I would like to play the route where you have a grandma. Starfield is that yeah. it is a Bethesda game through and through. Swear to God, if our grandma really dies in this, strange new places, places meeting interesting people. Man, look at this place. Zany adventures. Then realizing two hours later that you're involved in a completely so new story. So is this set in like a, a new universe, or is it set in our universe? No, it's our it's our universe. Yeah, in the future. So present here. Yeah, there was there was even a thing where there there's like the one of the factions was the Terran Preservation Society, which is like Earth Preservation Society. Oh right. Just waiting for you to visit. We want you to feel like explorers, breaking ground on new planets, exploring every inch of a mostly untouched galaxy. We want you to feel hopeful. 
We want you to feel this sense of awe and wonder. And sometimes a little fear. We're giving Damn. You a massive playground wow. with a ton of toys and just setting you free. The thing that worries me, I suppose, a little bit is like, how long does it take you to actually do Everybody, a thing? Everybody, we were showing right? you so much stuff. Yeah. Well, we thought we which thing? Take a little break. Like anything, and like, show like, you are, like, how long is it going to? How long is, the, you know, is something going to so take to do? Yeah, yeah, like, our game uh, world. So you're going to go out, go out, dog, get on your ship, get out there, attack something, and loot it. Like that whole thing. You don't want it taking 45 minutes every time. We've done a watch. It is the Constellation Explorer's watch. Um, this is the watch that you. Are they going to talk about the, the uh, part of your customized it's the system and controller and that may or may not have leaked? Yeah, it's actually it's, actually it's not even leaked. It's literally on store shelves right now. Oh really? The controller and the headset, yeah. That comes with, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, we really took as much care and designed this case as we did the watch. Oh, that's much to detail in the game. Aw, I want this. I don't even work in an office anymore, but I want that shot. It's got the intricate locking mechanism, authentic, heavy, wow. comes with okay. a constellation patch. Oh, it's not a lunchbox. Aww. <laughs> can I use it as a lunchbox? <laughs> yeah, take all that plastic that out. Yeah, you can probably take it. hundred percent of missed opportunity. Yeah, I know. Like I was so it's excited like then. <laughs> and it even tells the time. We actually oh, wow. have something else. Now that we're part of Xbox, we get to work with the amazing people on the Xbox oh, hardware here team. We go. And together yeah. we have created this, this controller looks so fucking good. I want it, it so badly. We love this because it's inspired by the actual controls of your spaceship. And not only that, we've created the first ever. Yeah, this headset, by the way, is I think I saw it was uh, retailing for 125. That controller. Which is about right for something like that, I think. Yeah. But... Is it a decent uh, headset? Though, they don't. I don't. Just, I don't know what the specs are. Thing? Yeah, we'll have to look at the specs. If it's a decent one, I'll probably get it too, honestly. It looks really good. I spent an obscene amount of money on my Sennheiser headset <laughs> so never again. I might do a good headphone Yeah, it looks... Yeah, yeah. I think I've heard that the previous Xbox headphones were really good, so I'm assuming this will be pretty good. Mm -hmm. I've been wanting to get a new one actually for a while, so that'd be good. Yeah, same here. Wait, are, Adam, are you are you my are you my Arctis Steel Series Seven, buddy? Was that you? No, I'm no, somebody was. What if I'm sure they didn't make a Starfield Xbox? Put so much care into all those little details. Yeah, I don't know. Breathe hmm. life into our worlds. But Starfield isn't just a Bethesda Game Studios world. There's a lot more dinosaurs than I was Game expecting. Studios, but I think I think it has not enough dinosaurs, <laughs> frankly. <laughs> Starfield. Because you can do this you, if you're Dino Summer. It counts. Yeah. The freedom to experience both the exciting planets and the quiet ones. We really scraped the bottom of the barrel at the end of the summer the there. Do you remember that horror one, one we did <laughs> with the T-Rex chasing you around? Resources you can use yeah. Crafting, <laughs> it was not good. <laughs> I think I went to school about this whole system. You should have played the bootleg gold in the game that I uh, like, offered to you. None of the dino... Really up. None player. of the Dino Crisis games are on PC. Our system builds a planet as Stupid. the shame. it, yeah. and we stitch together block of terrain. See, I want to see that more of these like the that adds uh, locations where the wildlife populated planets like this. Come. Yeah, look at this friend. Yeah, Gift Steel says, bro, the Arctic headsets are so good. I've got two, two of the Arctic. How many ears do you have? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Aggressive creatures have been disrupting our experiments. Their habitat isn't far from here. If you could take care of them for us, we would be in your debt. So even if your friends were to visit the same planet, four and a half. No, oh. wait, a no, wait. Tell. What? No. No, what? I thought they weren't hmm. doing this. Doing what? Like actually procedurally generated. Yeah, they're they're. No, some of it is. Some of it is. Like they said that no. this the planets that are for the there's a thousand planets. They're so, not gonna make a thousand. No, but what they, I thought what they initially said was that they're procedurally generated, but they are, what they did was they generated them and then they visited them and touched them up. That's what I thought they were doing. No, but they know what they did for they, You can't do that for a thousand planets. All of the stuff that you play for the story is completely handcrafted and the rest of it is procedurally generated. Two 
I think I would have preferred it if they just had it's kept the ones that they've you. designed. How you want to so, yeah, I think there's like nine planets or something, but those all those those planets are like entirely are crafted by hand. Do we know which nine planets are the ones? It's which whichever ones the campaign takes you to. Oh, okay. With the help of your scanner, you'll chart the I need to rewatch and, and hear what he said because yeah. I don't know. So the thing the, the thing is the thing that they yeah the thing they also stressed in that interview was like the amount of handcrafted area that they made for this game is still twice as big as anything they've done before like there there is like like Fallout 4 is like not even comparable in size to what they've made like by hand for this I think the concern mainly is if it's like that much handcrafted content but it's like spread out so that you land on one minute spend about 10 minutes on handcrafted content and that's next is just like empty vast of like plain desert or something it's just it's not gonna feel as effective so like planet 2 is like 20 planets away and you gotta get all the yeah, I yeah. I do hope that they like don't make it because they did talk about like balancing between realism and fun. Like, I know that most of the planets are going to be barren rock planets in real life, but like I hope they don't do that for the game. You know? Yeah. It's like if I wanted to be an astronaut, like I don't know. I'd I think we've seen it. Yeah. I think I we've already seen it. Why a thousand? Right? Like why that many? Like why not just the thing that so the, the, yeah. like, why the, even go a thousand? The thing they talked yeah. about was that each of those extra planets around there, that we, they were essentially, like, leaving that room open for modders to make their new worlds on there, while not interfering with the main story. I was just thinking yeah. that. So, I, I, maybe I misread the old interview, but what I thought the old interview meant was that the planets After aren't actually procedurally generated. So they are, but they, what they do is they look through them and are like, okay, let's make sure this looks anywhere on right. Any planet. No penis monsters. Yeah, I mean, yes, exactly. I, yeah, yeah. Like, like cause No Man's Sky has an issue. Oh, no, 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 yeah. Mass. I see what you mean. No, I, I think they did do that from what okay. I, I agree with but you. But then how is every planet different for each, each person? So it's not. It's the same. To harvest resources they said, they, did I miss here? Earlier. If 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 you if if you and I both go to planet XO two three four, like it's gonna look the same for both of us, yeah. Then what's different? What do you mean? That way you can really your structures and what your overall feel of your. Oh no, so you go. And then when you're on Because he said earlier, like even if you and one another player go to the same planet, you're gonna have a different experience. I think they meant like yeah. Yeah, about yeah. Oh, I think having oh, a different so is experience. Saying normal video game jargon. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I misunderstood. That's fine. Oh, if that's true. Really yeah, yeah. No, it's no, no. They were they were very generated, right. Your your game is not procedurally generating anything. That was okay. done during Good. development. Yeah. Because uh, that's what I was. I thought that's what they were saying. Yeah. They did. Yeah, crafting and research like, stations in your Do you make friends with the pirates or do you attack the pirates? Yeah, exactly. I yeah. see. I see. I will join the pirates by the way. Weapons to adapt them to your playstyle. Different weapon sites. Yeah, so I'm glad weapon modding is back. That was one thing that Fallout 4 really nailed, I think, was the weapon modding cuz you can like really fuck up your gun in that. In like a bad way. Those those effects just drop those frames. Oh, love it. I mean, you know, yeah. It's gotta be. It's it is a. Melee weapons. It is. It's it's gonna happen, right? It's gonna. Yeah, gonna like. A delicate balance between like. I mean, the bodies aren't morphing into the wall yet, so this is going quite well we for Bethesda sort of game. Of yeah. Like, what's fun for the player? Yeah. No, I mean, like, I am very confident this will be their best working game at launch for sure. Like. We've completely overhauled our. Not not like it's gonna. Not, yeah. Not not like it's gonna be like fucking Nintendo polish level or anything, but it'll be better than their previous ones. Is what I mean. Yeah, I think it's like it's kind of stopped being cute now. Um, yeah. With like how badly their games would run on day one, it, like it used to be funny, say, but now it's kind of like yeah. no one's laughing anymore. Yeah. I think it's this because a lot. Like, I think a lot of bound. games. Although I guess we're we're falling back into that time from the like the 2000s when like every game ran super badly and people just were like, oh well. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know, like, I feel like so many of the games that have, like, come out recently have just run so badly, and it's just like, well, alright. I think it's mainly because they cost, like, 30 quid back then, and now they're, like, 70. Yeah, yeah. 70 pounds for a game. Yeah, I wonder if that's it. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to figure out what that O2 and CO2 is doing. Firing a ballistic weapon in zero G will actually push you backwards. Oh, when you nut in space, does it push you backwards? 
offer a I more don't know. stable shooting experience. We also have mag weapons. These are I hope the zero G segments are like arrays. as great Each as they were in Death I really love that bit. And can dish out some serious damage. Jesus. Whoa. Whether Got him. Get up close and personal with your own two fists. Or you like more compact weapons like pistols yeah, I want to punch an alien. Yeah, dude, I know. <laughs> I mean, melee in these kind of games always just like a novelty. They never really, you can't. Yeah, I would say if 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 this game has good like proper melee, like it would be the first of this kind to ever do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Even in Fallout, I've, in Fallout 3, I did a, a modded playthrough where I or I did a melee uh, build, but like I had to mod it in order for it to work. And like even that's got perks for punching stuff. Is that well? Oh yeah, like that's different than like yeah, like so I think Bethesda treats unarmed and melee as two different things anyway. So like the un like doing an unarmed playthrough I think is unheard of in one of these. So wait, you've got um, stats towards unarmed playthroughs, haven't you? You in Fallout Four? Yeah. You've, you've got like the fist uh, perks. Oh Ooh, yeah, yeah. Wait, do they have a glory kill there. <laughs> Well, that's what I mean. Oh, like, shit. actually spent time on melee yeah. unarmed perks. Yeah, yeah. It's not even a viable place. Like, you can't do it, you know? This, this yeah. gunplay looks a hundred million times better than that one game gunplay trailer they showed. Yeah, a that. year ago, yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah, yeah. The more I think about Whoa. it, though, I, I Wait, feel what? like... Whoa, do you have magic powers Ooh. now? Ooh. Would you we just enter prey? <laughs> Thanks again for being with us. Whoa, today. whoa, hold on, Todd. <laughs> yeah, wait, well, that was an interesting hint. I know there was probably a lot What's going on in that video, Todd? Why aren't you wearing a leather here. jacket? You know, as we play it, we're always sharing these. We stole these the arcane may not be connected. from arcade. Only a game like this can bring. Yeah. And we also I stole their. Never mind. That's mean. Special. It really is the people here. Oh, this game is a reflection I have a feeling of the I know where you're going with that. All of them putting something special of themselves into it. So let's hear some of their favorite moments. That's nice. I like that. I love the way that our final combination of all the new tech has come together to create some of the most beautiful sunsets and sunrises we've ever had in any of our games. Yeah, that does look good. I love the creatures, mm -hmm. the exploration, every Oh, we're well, flying, different. guys. The word that comes to mind is vast. I like to use our photo mode to take rock star photos. Yeah. Yay. I just Shout out Honestly, feel of for that producer and her well, love for chaos, I'm surprised her favorite here. thing is so just I'm maligned. Most excited about our outpost if this is good, systems. it might be my game of the year. Cause I, oh, I it will. Zelda, yeah. So. I, there's no way this is better than Zelda, unfortunately, but I'm sure it'll be a close second. I can try. I'm slowly convincing myself that I feel like with how high expectations for Starfield were, the first time they were showing it off was always going to going, never meet you know, those expectations. Yeah, that's probably like true. Was going to die yeah. regardless. So I think. My favorite part is. Honestly, I think if they showed design, this, planets, I just yeah. Cycle, I think this is matter, like meeting. Diplomacy, yeah. The yeah. expectations yeah. a little bit. Yeah, I agree. I love this. They've always done this. They've always done this thing where they used to show the trailers, and that would be like showing the game, and the game would be coming out in a few months' time. Like if this had been how they used to do it, this would be the. Like Fallout 4. Yeah. yeah, and Skyrim as well. Like the, the yeah. first like gameplay was game Skyrim was like a few months before release. Be There's a beach episode. Do what you want to do. <laughs> this definitely feels like the first Bethesda game where it's like, oh, we're spending years title, like I mean, hyping this. Yeah. Yeah. Marketing this. So Todd yeah. Howard I mean, has. Some of that is just... So this was this was actually the first game Todd Howard thought of back when he was in high school. He said he started developing out the beginnings of this. So he's had it in his head his entire life, basically. And then the, those damn people, Obsidian, released a game that was very strikingly similar <laughs> a few yeah. years ago. I wish I wish it had been better. I think I think they I genuinely like just the Outer Worlds has so many like good ideas in it. Like yeah. I think I think the second game could be like a killer. I think it could really be a knockout. Yeah, I think it yeah. will. I think yeah. the thing with the first Outer Worlds game is I feel like it feels very limited. Yeah. Um, in terms of like their budget and everything. Oh so yeah, for I sure. You can I, see the limited budget. Yeah, I have high hopes for the second one. Though. Oh, Shattered Space. 
the first story expansion. Okay. Yeah. Oh, lunchbox. Watch case, which is a lunchbox. <laughs> mm -hmm. Canonically. <laughs> <laughs> Join the constellation. Oh, what's this? It's like a little wrap up. It's just, this is a hype. Yeah, just a hype, hype montage. Reel. Yeah. No Wolfenstein 3. No. So, I, I will say, I think the Starfield stuff, great. Fantastic. I think the Microsoft stuff was good. Yeah, I agree. I like, good stuff. enough, yeah. yeah. It just, it, again, it like... Kind of, sorry, go ahead. I, I feel like it was kind of a letdown in the fact that, like, we know so many Xbox games already that, like, are so up in the air still that, like, that entire, like, Xbox focus one is just like, okay, here's more new games that are kind of up in the air. It's just like, where's, like... Like, where's State of Decay 3? Where's... Yeah, that's Conway? true. Where yeah, we don't know where... There's Stalker 2 as well. Stalk yeah, Stalker 2. Yeah. Oh, like, wow, there was what? no Stalker 2 here. Yeah, where did that go? That's so weird. Perfect R. Like, mm. it just feels like there's so many Wasn't Xbox that supposed exclusives to come that out this year? you don't know So that, yeah. yeah, it is supposed to, it is for December right now, but remember Stalker 2, that studio is Ukrainian, and their Ukrainian studio was like, yeah. was actually bombed right. and everything. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, they had to move out of Ukraine. They had yeah, they had to leave and find a new place to set up. So like, I don't, I I can let them take as long as they need. I think. Um, yeah, that's fucked up. Yeah. I don't and think so, like, some song is coming out this year. Yeah. I have a sinking feeling. So I think that's I think... my only complaint. It's like a lot of great stuff or a lot of good stuff, but it's just like we're kind of in the same. Like cycle. Like, I agree. Yeah. Again, where it's just like here's yeah. more original content. This is the thing. Like, might eventually come out. I, 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 I'm honestly. I feel like. I feel like to some. Some. I'll mute this. I feel like to some. Yeah. To some degree, at least. Like, I'm very confident. Like, Starfield is gonna hit at least. But after that, it's like, all right. Well, what have you guys got? <laughs> you know what I yeah. mean? It's like they, they're kind of like basing their entire console generation around this one game, which is like. That's cool, but like, what is the? What are you guys gonna do after that? <laughs> like, cause you still have a bunch of games in the air right now, like, a lot. I just, I just wonder if they're focusing so much on the acquisition that they've just not thought about it. I don't know. It just like, it yeah. d does Phil Spencer oh, like? It feels like. Banking on that money. Yeah, like F Phil is banking. He's got like a twenty-year plan, but doesn't have a five-year plan. <laughs> it's like what it feels like. Uh, this would have been so bad if it was like uh, just about half, like half the length. Like they could have just showed the stuff, but like it's actually looking like it's going to come out anytime soon. Yeah, it's. I mean, the stuff without the uh, without even a date is like why? Why the, did you? The thing is, like yeah. everything looks everything looks good though. It's not like they showed anything where it's one of those trailers where everyone's like, "Ooh, that's not coming out well." You know, it's like. Yeah. But Fable yeah. Fable has me a little worried. I mean, like Fable. Fable is an interesting case because you know they. I think they that trailer was literally just this game exists. Reminder, you know, mm -hmm. there's they had yeah. nothing to show. We we it. we have to yeah. see some like I want to see some like HUD gameplay, you know we what need I mean? To see any like I don't even yeah. think they have anything ready really. I think Fable they just wanted to show it off. Is that Fable even gonna be yeah. like a hey? Oh, yeah. sorry not to interrupt, but no, no, good. Fable was definitely like a hey. Remember that CG trailer we showed when we were launching the Series X? Well, here's an extended CG trailer of yeah. that. Yeah. 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 They did have. They did have like. You know? They did have like snippets of gameplay in there that were like, like a few seconds over long. Third, like third yeah. person camera footage, but it wasn't really gameplay. It was more just like cinem, like gameplay cinematic sort of thing. Like, like it's like, like one of those shoulder, like but... captured in engine sort of things. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I don't know. Like, I do, I do feel like this. I feel like this would have been a little bit of a letdown without the like Starfield direct on it. To be honest, yeah. like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but no, I think that was fine. Um, I think it was probably a little better than the PlayStation showcase, at least, because there was yeah, a lot. Yeah. There was a lot. First like, party wise, yeah. First party wise, like, mm -hmm. amazingly better. Because, like, even. Yeah. I like that Phil Spencer did that wrap up at the end. He's like, hey, this is what our first party studios are doing. Like, we got yeah. you covered. You know, look at this. And that's nice. Because, mm -hmm. like, I still don't know what, like, two thirds of PlayStation studios are doing. <laughs> mm. yeah. Um, yeah. But. It just, I don't know, I feel like we're getting to this, like, breaking point where games, like I said, games take so long to make now that, like, it is just completely unsustainable. It's like, mm -hmm. look, if you look at Starfield, like, and I know this is, like, in the far in the future, it's like, if you look at Starfield and you're like, alright, 
well, the next thing we have to do has to be, like, bigger than this. It's like, you can't do that, man. <laughs> it's like... Yeah. Um, which is the same thing that um, Raph Colantonio was saying, which is why he left uh, Arcane and, and Bethesda and everything. That he was the creator of... The founder of Arcane Studios and the, like, creator of Dishonored. But, like, he left that studio because he said, like, after we launched Dishonored 2 and the uh, they came to... Like, Bethesda came to us and they were like the thing you do next needs to be even bigger and better. And he was like, I don't have any ideas for that. Like, it is totally unsustainable to keep asking us to make things bigger and better each time. Like, there's, you know, and like, then, you know, they figured, he's like, yeah, we had this idea for Deathloop and everything, which is basically dishonored, but bigger and better. But like, we just like, didn't, he's like, it just isn't sustainable because I saw this pattern and I was like, the whole thing is going to collapse. Like, we can't keep doing this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, also, Dishonored Two was like a perfect, like length. Yeah, it, it I was, agree. It wasn't too big. It wasn't too small. And the open world bit was like was was absolutely fine. Like there was no need to there was no need to like bloat that out. No, I I agree. I also think I think I think Deathloop was a really good job of iterating on Dishonored. It's like, oh, we made this. Like, let's try something else with these mechanics. You know, like, good job. Mm -hmm. But at the yeah. same time, it's like, what are they? Then I think you can see Redfall being like, we need like a massive open world free-to-play shooter and it's like ah i don't know man like <laughs> you know you can see how it turned out i mean that one just feels like they put buzzwords into a hat and then just picked out three yeah but it's like mm -hmm. that. yeah it was a yeah. Uh, yeah apparently that was part of like a push that like the zenimax board had where they were like okay we need all we need all of our services to go all, all of our studios to make live service games so that's where Fallout 76 and Wolfenstein Youngblood actually was apparently intended to be a live service game. Um, but when it was in production and then that got like switched around and then it Redfall explains a also. lot because mm -hmm. Wolfenstein Youngblood is a Not... live service game in disguise. <laughs> yeah, it's it believable. Really yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I actually do wonder if like, um, we get anything. I don't think we're going to get anything else from Xbox this year though. I think it's just those two games and then like, what is even mm -hmm. the next thing after that? Like Avowed is coming next year, right? And probably Avowed. Avowed and Hellblade next, next year, yeah. I, what do I, we think about Avowed? Or Hellblade is. Probably I think Avowed looks good. I feel like I actually feel like Avowed might be next because I think it's a smaller game. Weirdly, I know it doesn't sound right, but I think Avowed might be a smaller, more concentrated it game. It looked small. Yeah. It looked small. Like it, it, it gave me like. I don't want to say like double a vibes but it didn't it didn't it's definitely not like the type of yeah. game that no, i it, think they initially yeah it looks like this is smaller scale this is not a bethesda game is it know, something is... that they planned out before they got acquired by xbox like something they were doing yeah. on their own yeah it definitely seems not as like huge it, it seems but... like it's probably the same size as like the outer worlds honestly is a good comparison yeah. like yeah, which well, I think, fine. Like, it was, it which was, was fine. On a scroll pitch, right? Like, yeah, absolutely. Nobody, not everybody wants a hundred hour game. You know? No, I don't no, want I another don't. hundred hour game. I think that's perfectly, perfectly great for them to do. I, I will settle with Starfield, but other than that, no, thank you. Yeah, like that. And honestly, and, like, I was just gonna say, like, honestly, if the rumors are true and Obsidian are working on a Fallout game, like, yeah. Like, yeah, some of those games are going to have to be smaller. Like, Avowed is going to have to be yeah. smaller because they're going to have to scale up for Fallout. Yeah, um, which is, I think, because uh, Josh Sawyer has been very, very, like, tight-lipped on what his team is doing now that, like, Pentiment came mm -hmm. out, and they're apparent. that is apparently, like, rumor, the, the, the team that's working mm -hmm. on a new Fallout game. But, like, um, God, I hope they are. Um, if that's true, I'm going to need to be, like, resuscitated from the yeah, news. So. Yeah. Well, because, like, the, I mean, you can see, like, Fallout 5 is still, like, eight years away, you know? It's yeah. like... Yeah. It, they they need to have... They, they can't let that IP just, like, sit, you know? It's... Well, they do no, worry. You'll just get a, yeah, you'll get a 76 expansion every year for the next few right. years. Well, I mean, that that's one thing, but, like, you know, people, people want, like, a new, like, you know, regular-ass, like, single-player game from them. So it's like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think it makes sense for Obsidian to do... Because, like, I think Obsidian's probably the only studio that could pull that off anyway. Like, yeah. Yeah. this is a gigantic well, this, project. I suppose the question is, do they do that, or do they just sink more into Starfield, you know? Yeah. They go, right, of those, like, thousand planets, one of them just got, like, majorly colonized. You know? <laughs> yeah, the... Can... 
so yeah one thing i was saying that we were, were talking over the people in the presentation like they talked about the fact that like they're procedurally generated like the the external planets like the outer ring planets are all laid out because they want all people to have enough room to like mod these worlds and have these worlds work together like they they want to basically leave room for people to like you know we could have like 900 different like mods installed to like colonize and like change each of these planets into something like and you could have them all at the same time uh kind of stuff like that so i can't wait for that to blow up my computer sorry sorry i was gonna say i can't wait for that to blow up my computer oh yeah for sure like that that is one thing also that like you may not know is that like um Bethesda actually sends out the mod kits to, like, the top modders, like, usually, like, a month or so before the game comes out, so that there is stuff when the game launches. Um, so, like, th that is interesting, and it's it's something that, like, I don't think any other studio has ever done, really, is, like, we, like, are giving you guys, like, all the tools. And because it's Xbox now, like, I'm I'm hoping that it has full integration, finally, for, for mods, like... Because the yeah. Xbox integration for mods for Skyrim and Fallout is, like, good, but it's limited. Um, PlayStation's worse. <laughs> PlayStation bear PlayStation yeah. might as well not even have them. It's yeah. it's so stupid. And it, it, and that's, that's, that's PlayStation's fault, by the way. They're the ones who said we it don't is. want them. Um, They're too paranoid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. The, but, no, I, I, think that, I think that if they can um, make it easy for uh, modders to, like... Uh, export their stuff from Nexus to like Bethesda.net and everything, and like connect that seamlessly. That would be a gigantic benefit to the game. Like the the console players having the same access to that stuff as the PC uh, players. I would have be a huge. quote that I, I'm rewatching what what he's saying. Uh -huh. uh, it's so. I think what's cool about this whole system is that we generate the planet itself as procedural content. But the hand content, handcrafted content itself comes as the player explores. Our system builds a planet as the player explores it, approaches it. Oh. I don't think I understand. Together, a block of terrain. I don't think I understand what that means. Yeah. After that, we have the system that adds interesting locations. Generating instead of loading is a very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So is the idea that they've made all these points of interest and like they can be like kind of plopped onto the planet in different places or something? I think that's what it means. I think it means that all, everything is made. It's just it, it's where it. I think that's what they meant when they said that everything is oh, going to be different. Interesting. In the sense that when you land on a planet, oh. I think the planet itself, when you go there, it, it in the moment decides what's on that planet. Oh. Interesting. Uh, I don't. I don't think I dislike that. That is interesting yeah, that, way to still, do that. I mean, it's still. It's 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 interesting. I mean, I don't know if it's how well it'll work, but it's definitely interesting. Yeah, I mean, at the, and at the same time, like I said, like the the planets that you would explore for the campaign and everything, the the handcrafted area that they've made for that is still larger than any of their previous games. It's like it's not like they procedurally generated everything. You know, it's like we still worked on this and like have made it. But yeah, I I can imagine that like the areas like um what's that the the new atlantis like the huge city like i can imagine some of the er other like areas farther away from the city on that planet are, are generated in some fashion you know it's like whatever that makes sense because uh, you're not going to the beaten path is not going to take you there so um that's also going to make guides very funny because no one's going to be able to give anyone guides on anything <laughs> No. Like True. where do yeah, where so, do I find uranium? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, so he just said <laughs> even if you visit the same planet your friends had, you can have a different story to tell. Okay. I think because the events uh, the events are randomly generated. I think the planet is the same structurally. Okay. I don't think the game's actually creating the planet as you're playing. I think all the planets are sort of like set in stone. Right. And then once you go there, the actual events on the planet are random. Right. Interesting. Okay, so that's that's a okay. So that's slightly different then. So yeah. The planets are Right, okay. I, I think I like that, actually, because I think they've always had an emphasis on, like, every player is playing the same game, and, like, when you're talking to other people about, like, Skyrim, it's like, well, I did this when I got here, it's like, that's insane, I didn't even know that was there, like, I was doing this, you know, like, everyone has completely yeah. different stories to talk about playing I these games be, single player. I would be curious to know what those event, what the event pool is. Yeah. Is it just like, you know, Spider-Man, when you, uh, you know, oh, just a crime in progress. Or like cyberpunk you know, <laughs> spider-man crime in progress you know literally like you know that kind of thing you know it's just like there's uh, like three things that could potentially happen 
you know, at any given time. Okay, uh, I'm rewatching it again because I just I'm so confused. I'm not sure anymore because he says our system builds a planet as the player approaches it. Okay, so and it's we... it sounds like it's independently created for different. I don't know. Maybe don't they'll know. maybe they'll talk more, more about I it need later. Clarification on this. Um, I'm gonna have to go because okay. my potato is burning. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm just checking when the Ubisoft one is, which is tomorrow at 1 p.m. Um, if anyone wants to do that one, I, I'm actually I'm working from home, so I can do that. But uh, we'll, is we'll that talk about 1 it. 1 p.m. for you. Yeah, 1 p.m. Eastern. Yeah. Uh, oh, so that would be like 6 p.m. Yeah, 6 p.m. for you guys. That. I'll probably be around for that. Okay, cool. What is it? Uh, yeah, we get. Hey, Momo, we're gonna see Avatar: Frontiers of Pandora gameplay. Uh, didn't I bet against that? You bet against it after I told you they announced it, yeah. <laughs> That's right. I thought it'd be funny. Uh, it looks good. <laughs> yeah, alright, cool. Alright, well, we might be back tomorrow then, uh, I think, so check check out uh, check us out then. Alright, see you guys. Bye. See Thanks you. for joining me. Bye. Bye.